broadcast won't whatever. I'm not paying for the broadcast anyway. Hello. Hey everybody. Welcome <coughs> to our thingy, our live. Our live. Click on comments up here, get rid of that. And hey, Robert Rockwell. Rockwell. Hello. First one in here. And hey, member. Carla. Hello. We're going to go outdoors. Hmm. Somebody else just came in. There you go, Robert. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Long time no see. Long time no see, everybody. Yep. <laughs> Right we got some asparagus. Yeah, we got a lot of asparagus. We got 11 pounds. So we thought we'd chat with everybody and do some canning. Yeah. It's been a while since we've done some canning. It's been a while since we've done a live stream. <clears throat> mm -hmm. We got the tiller today, but it's kind of chilly out, so we figured we better get this asparagus canned. We got it today yeah, that's saying. Uh, from a, well. a grower that's about a half an hour from here. And so we're going to pickle some. Did you heat your Thank up? you. No, it's not hot. It's cold. <laughs> I was wondering. It didn't look like it was. <laughs> Thank you. I'm enjoying the Jeep life for sure. I love the Jeep. It's it's actually a lot of fun to drive, and it's coming along. The project's coming along. She she needs some work. She's a 2003, so she's been sitting for three years in a pole barn. Yeah. Thing is, it's gonna be hard to get the name on her the way we want it. We want it to say dragonfly, but we want the wording to look like a dragonfly's wing. Yeah, so with the kind of, black outline with the yeah, white I'll, I'll check behind it. People and they say they can't do that. No, It'd be really cool to do it holographic. Maybe we should check Sticker Mule, yeah, sticker mule <laughs> but they is. might not be able to do something that big. All we need is what one, two, three vinyls. Yes, we have, and we've given the Jeep Wave back. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely a thing. Yeah, it is. I've had her down on the the back roads, and we went. Down a nice dirt road with a lot of big bumps and stuff. That was hey, fun. Nathan, welcome. She definitely can go a lot of places that the Subaru could not. Yep, <laughs> I'm really liking that. We put new skins on her Saturday. Yeah, new tires. Put some brand new KO2s on there. Yeah. Sounds much better. Oh, that, those old tires were so loud. They were loud and they were down to about nothing for tread well, they said there were three thirty seconds on the edges and zero on the zero centers. in the centers <laughs> on the rears on the, the rear. front ones they were mismatched on yeah, the front tread. Ones were, one was three and one was five yeah we kept the one that's five as a spare just in case <clears throat> we're going to try to find another uh rim another rim a bigger yeah. rim because the one that's on the spare tire that's on there is only 15 and the ones we've got on are 16s Hey, NDT Show. Hello, Nathan. All right, say hi, son. <laughs> Here's the two that I've got started. Okay, cool. She's going to talk to her graphics guy. P PM me exactly what you want. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll do that. Yeah, because I'd love to get, I want to get a, a cool looking uh, graphics thing. <clears throat> I was looking at a certain font, like a font, but I want it like, white it out in the middle with the black around it but the We're the the gray. white over the white try to make like a little like a pattern a little wavy line pattern it doesn't have to be like a prefer perfect dragonfly wing but it's like like make it like little wavy lines inside i'll try and draw it up and send it to you hey mama t, mama t how, how you doing you? we're doing okay We've been very, very busy. 
uh, I started working and we've got so much going on at home that when I get off work to try and keep up with that, it's been very difficult to do lives and videos and stuff because when I get off work, we have all the household chores to do. And I've been working 48 hours and so has John. Used to do during the week when I was at work. Yeah, I used to do that during the week while I wasn't at, I wasn't working. So I was home. I was doing glass work, but I could kind of like pick and choose my hours so I could get the housework done in between too. So yesterday, all we did was run errands, went to Costco and did grocery shopping and Walmart. And yeah. <laughs> Friday, we spent time at the tire shop in Menards. Myers credit card machine was down. down. So we went to Walmart. There. Kind of turned it that way. <laughs> oh, yeah. yep. The lighting kind of, Light is bad. The lighting kind of sucks, but at least I can look back and talk to you while I'm. <laughs> hey, where's my phone at? John's over there cutting. Whoa, there's steam coming off my coffee. Look at that. You know what that means? Oh, she thinks her graphics guy can do holographic too. Be that would be awesome. If we could do like a holographic behind there. I kind of. <clears throat> let me see what I was. I can see if I find the font. <clears throat> it's not. Mm -hmm. Super like cursive, but it's like kind of flowy. Let me see. Well, yeah, you don't want it to be cursive. Well, it's 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 neat looking. I gotta find it though. Oh, I don't know if I can find it. I'll, I'll have to send it to you. I'll have to send it to you. <clears throat> we definitely want to put put the name down our side of her, probably on the right there along the the hood. You want to give me your phone. I'll look at your phone. That way hmm? you got an extra person. Where's your there. phone at? It's over there, but I'm already logged in on my account on there. Okay, hold on a second. And at least I can talk to people while I'm doing that. Okay, you too? Yes. Okay. Let's go back. Back, back, back. <laughs> She's got so many freaking um, things open. Uh, Just go for the search. There it is. Nope, that says two new videos. Let's see. That's it. Oh, there we go. I gotta, I gotta get my sound down. Oh, and I almost Here, all let me have the phone. All right, please. you take the phone. I know how to operate the <laughs> dang on phone. You paused it, so now I'm nowhere near calling. I yeah, the holographic thing would be awesome. Want to do along the sides of the hood or across the windshield? Oh, I don't know. Probably along the side of the hood. I don't know if you want one on a windshield or not, because that windshield's going to have to be replaced. Yeah, I. It's got cracked when we were uh, replacing the gasket. It got cracked in the bottom driver's side corner. It's not like cracked all the way across. It's just cracked at the bottom. Very little spot, like about that big around, about the size of a quarter. Wouldn't you think about the size of a quarter right now? More like a maybe half a dollar bill corner. And I can't even see it while I'm driving because I got my Garmin up there in that corner. My Garmin. So it covers it up. You can't see it. It doesn't really, it's in the black. So you don't really see it very but I got stand out. Comes, yes, that. he'll probably finish. It'll probably crack more when it gets cold. Oh, yeah, it sucks. I know. <laughs> My brother was so mad. It was raining and we had the heat gun going and we were using like kind of like a oh. pushing along trying to get it done. And we were, it got to the, like the last four inches of it. Yeah. And it, that's when it cracked. <laughs> well, last four inches, we were yeah. almost done. Out, you're doing that, yeah, and you have and you got the and not a hand, it was a rubber mallet or whatever. Yeah, it was still a hand. <clears throat> no, I think the heat gun and the cold rain had the hat, it was the big gone. effect. And uh, Nathan says that's a good one, John. <laughs> yeah, that is a big one. Got some yes, big ones. it is some nice asparagus. Got some big ones in here. I actually, got a whole freaking sink full. Not wild. We didn't forage this. We bought no. it from someone who has an asparagus field. Yeah, whole thing full of it. We got 10, 11, 11 pounds, pounds of yeah. asparagus. We want to try to can it this year. We want to do some spicy pickling and. Yeah, we got some. Uh, um, uh, not spicy. Yeah. See, we're gonna pickle it. Is this got zesty jalapeno in this one? This is this is what we're using. It's Mrs. Wags. Hot spicy pickles. And it's got, let's see if I can block the sun out. There we go. It's got uh, zesty jalapeno. 
So we mix this up and makes a brine. We pour it over top and then we put it into the steam canner to seal them jars up. Hey, Tanya. Hello. Hello, Tanya Browning. We've been doing pretty good. Haven't gotten any hiking in nope. at all. Mushroom hunting is the only hiking we've gotten in this whole spring. Well, we did do one little hike, but that was after yeah. mushroom hunting as we were hiking. Yeah, it was an early, yeah, it was an early hike. But we did get the mushroom, we did get the mushroom out of it, though. Yeah, one mushroom. <laughs> no, I was talking about the uh, pheasant box. Oh, the pheasant backs. We did do that one at the moment. At the, yeah, we did yeah, do that one. Thing there. One uh, hike and did, we got some pheasant backs. Yeah. Ooh, she's headed to Low Gap next weekend. That's a fun trail. That's a fun trail. It kicked my butt, but it's a fun trail. <clears throat> I yeah. enjoyed it more. I think of it. What? So I, I don't think it was the trail itself. I think it was me being dehydrated. Yes, I think so too. We didn't carry enough water. Well, we were only planning on a one overnight, and we spent a second night, and then we were up on the ridge away from any water source. We are not sure where we're heading next weekend. We don't know if we're going north or south. We don't know if we're going north we're or south. Sure. It depends on the weather, how warm it is, where the rain's at. Right here, we're cutting off the ends. Those are the ends. We're going to freeze them. The we're going to freeze those freeze parts. Tonight, yeah, because I'm making fish tonight. Low gap. Low gap was fun. I would like to do that trail again. I would park in a different spot, though. Yeah. And do the loop a little differently. <clears throat> yeah. Don't park at the main trailhead. <laughs> Unless you want to do the whole 10 mile. Well, Actually, it's almost 12 yeah, miles. I would do. I would, it's like 11 I would do the whole thing. It's it's a beautiful trail. Ah, she said, was not sure where I was going. I have friends doing a day hike, and I'm going to continue on and stay overnight. Oh, okay, they're doing a day hike. Yeah, that is a doable day hike. I mean, if you're carrying just a day pack, you could you could hike that if you start in the morning. You yeah. Be careful though, you cannot camp on the. Uh, what side oh of yeah, you can only camp in a certain spot. Certain area. After it's got to so be far, you cannot camp because it's no nature camping. preserve in that one spot. Yeah. yeah. So make sure you do your research on that part. Mm -hmm. I think she's been there before, dear. I'm pretty sure she has. Yeah. We want to do the Charles Dean Wilderness Trail and fish some some one of these days. Oh, they're just going to Rock Shelter. Okay, oh. yeah, we've been to Rock Shelter, too. That was neat. I wish we would. We didn't know much about it. So we didn't go up and walk underneath the actual rock Shelter overhang. Itself. Oh, it's her first time. Awesome. Yeah, we went last year for the first time. We researched it a little bit before we uh, went. Oh, she's going to do the loop. Yep, that's what we did was the loop. <clears throat> Make sure you take plenty of water. Yeah, there's. We only found one water source, really. A re, one really good water source. There was one right well, before be Rock spring, Shelter. Would it be in springtime? There might be more. Water oh sources yeah, now. there might be. There might be. Yeah. And then there was a good it. one right in in the middle of where you can camp. There was a good water source. <clears throat> the road walk, that kind of stinks. Yeah. I don't care for the road walk, Not but. Either. And we did that at the end, trying, we did that that last three miles the second day. You know what? We want to free them. I might want to put them in the thing on. <laughs> uh, one. And, uh, Asparagus is one of my favorites, even if it does make our pee smell funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Carla. <laughs> I love asparagus. I do too. That's why we're doing this canning. My brother got some pickled asparagus that he got in Michigan. And it was so good. And it had a jalapeno in it, like stuck down in the middle in the, in the asparagus around the outside. And it was pretty good. It's real, they're very, they're not, they're spicy, but they're not too spicy. Hey, hello, Weekend Arvine. Weekend Arvine, welcome. <laughs> Long time no see. <clears throat> it's been a while for us. We've been so crazy busy with work. <clears throat> Ah, Tanya says she's never had asparagus pickled before. She likes asparagus, but never had it pickled. 
Yeah, we ha- had never had it pickled either until this this uh, Christmas. And he brought a jar to the Christmas party, and it was really good. We're going to try it. Hopefully it turns out. Uh, Tanya says, I'll bring plenty just in case of water. Looks like maybe a couple of creeks, and it's supposed to rain the day before. We, you'll be fine. Yeah, you'll have plenty yeah, of water. Have plenty of water there. There's a creek there before you get into the rock shelter area. And uh, there's a creek. There's actually a after nice the camp in the campground. Nice camping right there next to that creek. Oh, down in the second creek, the yeah. one at the bottom of the gap. Yeah. yeah, that's a that's a nice camping right there. There is a nice campsite there. Although it might be a little wet yeah, <laughs> if it just it rained. That one can get wet. It can get waterlogged. There's a couple. Oh, there's another creek, too, right in the middle of the campground where the bridge goes across. Yeah, that's what I was talking yeah, about. Yeah, but there's that's another one where we, we filtered lot. water down farther yeah, that has yeah. a really nice campsite. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, I've been wanting to go back and do Low Gap again because there's a couple of really nice camping spots. It's an, it is a good trail. There's a lot of ups and downs. Yes, but it, it they're doable. Oh, they're doable. Yeah. But, and she's used to ups and downs because oh, yeah. she's from we, southern we Indiana <laughs> where there's there's hills. She's, she's not from Flatlandia like us up here. The only thing we got for hills pretty much are the sand dunes and that's it. Yeah, the campsites, um, when you cross the, the road, when you get down to the bottom of the gap, you'll cross the road and the, you'll say there's a sign there with a parking lot down there at the bottom. Because you can start the loop from up in up high, up, up at the top of the main parking lot. Or you can start the loop down by the campground area, areas, right off the road down there at the bottom. <clears throat> Hello, lots of, lots of hills here, yep. Yeah. <laughs> that much here um there's a few campsites right off the parking lot that are real f- like flat and they're very shaded lots of trees um they're kind of where there's going to probably be a lot of garbage we yep, picked some up there. um but there was a lot of garbage in the campfire pits i was kind of disappointed in that where people were not picking up after themselves yep. but being that close to the parking lot you're going to get people just Coming walking in there and partying and, and, and bringing a picnic yeah in. or just Party staying overnight and, and then leaving the next day um there's do. a campsite just across the creek when you go from the, across the road into the camping it'll say you can camp in this area it'll say you know camping is allowed in this area hey mary mary hello yeah, that area is a little bit busy. When And after you get past that area, you'll go across like a little suspension bridge. And that's a good place to get water. But then off to your left, right after the suspension bridge, there is a campsite back in there right along the creek. And then if you go up a little ways, there's a campsite that's up, up the hill from there. Then after that, once you get down across the other side... You'll go through right before you get into the uh, nature preserve area. There's some more campsites. One is right off the creek, and that's a beautiful campsite, but it might be uh, prone to getting wet yeah, and flooded bad. if it rains. This time of year. Hey, Spaceman Dudley. Spaceman, hello. Oh, hello. I've been missing your videos and lives. Hope both of you are doing well. Yeah, we're doing well. We've we're just been good. super busy with work, 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 and more work. We've been, I've been, I, We've been working both 48 hours There's every week. I just got done. <laughs> Canning some like, asparagus. like bullets. And then the weekend has been, the last two weekends have kind of been filled with Jeep stuff. We've been working on the Jeep. Yeah. Getting all the rubberized paint off of it. Oh, and, uh, and then, you know, sure. changing the me. oil and That's trying awesome. to clean her up. Right now, I got the cart back carpet out of it and the back seat out of it because I still need to shampoo kind of, that. We got the Subaru sold. So yep, I've been working on selling the Subaru, which we got that done last week. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> uh, Tiny said, awesome. Thanks for the info. No problem, because I know when we were going, we looked at a lot of David Gray's videos. 
because he's got some good videos on the campsite. Some of the campsites there. It, but it's not really informative. It's not really no, informative it's not a very video. good informative video. It's just kind of yeah. like, oh, we didn't this know what is we were this. No. We weren't really into <laughs> That was our first overnighter. That was our it first was. overnight hike, backpacking hike. And we we were planning on just doing one night. And then we got up to the top of that ridge and almost out of the camping area. And John's back was really bothering him. And it was hot. And we were tired. I'm like, you know what? Let's just stay here. And then we'll hike the last three miles in the morning when it's cooler. And and just enjoy it because it was nice at night or nice afternoon and evening. It was evening by then. It was a really nice evening. The wind was blowing on the ridge. The birds were singing. It was just absolutely gorgeous. And it was a full moon. Be aware. There are whippoorwills in them there, Wood. There are <laughs> whippoorwills. The guys that passed us the next morning asked us, what kind of birds are make a, the sound of a car alarm all night long? I said, whippoorwills. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't oh. shut up. They were going to shut up all night. <laughs> right over top of our hammocks and our tent. Oh, she says she loved all of our videos on it. Thank you. <laughs> the Jeep is so cool. So excited for you. I know. I love the. I love the Jeep. We got the Jeep, Mary, from uh, a friend of my brother's. Uh, it was. It was a uh, his brother-in-law's Jeep, and he had passed away, and it was in the in the state. And they had it sit in the pool barn and finally got everything together and decided they were going to sell it. So it's been sitting there for a while. It's been sitting for a while. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you go out there and it started right up. Yeah, it did. Yes, we did. The water was going everywhere. Oh, no. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Carla's like, I'm so stoked you got a Jeep. I know I'm I'm excited. I like it much better than Subaru. I'd never driven a Jeep before until this one, actually. And I really like driving this Jeep. So it's it's really fun. Now, the first time I ever rode in a Jeep was in 2020 at the Chicago Auto Show. And I enjoyed that. It was it's a lot was a lot of fun, but I've never driven Gladiator. one before. Yeah, we drove we got to ride in Jeep Gladiator. And that was an awesome, awesome vehicle, too. They got some rain down there. Oh, boy, in Tennessee. It rained here. It rained here yesterday almost all day. Hey, Karen Boardman, hello. Karen Boardman, hello. Welcome. That is awesome news. <laughs> uh, Mary says, I love it. Mom would have loved the color. She was, mm -hmm. was her favorite color, huh? The red. That was a flame red. Yep. They only made them in three colors that year. And you'll guess what? I've had this little charm. It's a beaded charm that I got in Minnesota in 2016. We went on a trip to Minnesota on my purse hanging on there because I didn't want to put on my keys. I didn't want to get it tore up. I've had it hanging on my purse all this time, and it works perfectly hanging off my rear view mirror. And it's a dragonfly, with, and I have it so its wings are spread out. It's very, very cool. And it's green, red. And blue. <laughs> I'm not much of a grower, but do have some gourds, sunflowers, tomatoes, and moonflowers started. Awesome. Moonflowers. Moonflowers moon are pretty. Moonflowers are pretty, but they're poisonous to certain animals. Yes, they are. You have to they put them pretty. where, they, where your like pets flowers. are not going to chew on them. them in a fence row. We could now that we don't have the horses. I know. Moonflowers are beautiful. I like them. Mm hmm. <laughs> the had them down there on, on the river. Yeah, they were really pretty. And they open up at night and they close up during the day. Yeah. And like morning glories open up in the morning, close up at night. Mm hmm. Yeah, we're hoping that we might get a four-day weekend this weekend. I'm not going to jinx it, though. <laughs> we're we're definitely going to have a three-day weekend coming up. We don't know if we're going north or going south. Yep, don't know yet if we're going north or south. If we go south, we're going to go fishing. Yeah. We're going to go fishing, blind, huh? Where, where are we going? Two freaking blind squirrels out there chasing each other around. <laughs> 
one chasing the other. Oh, yes. Karen had her neck surgery done March 25th. I, I have been paying attention to the Facebook a little bit. Since I've been on YouTube, I've been catching up with people on Facebook. I have seen you've that you've been, been doing better. Anything. Just Facebook. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> and that's only if we're at work and got time to. Yeah. Pretty much. Oh, Mary says she's seen two hummingbirds three, three weeks ago and hasn't seen any since. We had one eaten off of my hummingbird yeah. feeder out here. But um, I haven't seen it. Usually. And they're, they're migrating. They're probably the migratory ones have already left your area, Mary, because we saw a video from Wandering Wiley, and he's yeah, got hummingbirds got in Minnesota. In right now. I couldn't believe it. Yep, he's got them in Minnesota right now. Uh oh, Spaceman does it's the biggest thing I wish I could grow would be an AC compressor as ours to tore up. LOL. Oh man. Yeah, when it's hot, that AC is a necessity. We had to turn ours on. It was hot here. Yeah, we did. Now today it's it's chilly. You can't we go have, outside without a sweatshirt. Shut the window today. And I'm probably gonna have to cover my son in patience because it's supposed to get down in the upper 40s tonight for lows. I, we haven't gotten our garden in yet either. No, we ain't got a tiller yet. You got yep. a tiller today, though. Yeah, we went and got the tiller out of the barn today, and now we have to get it running. Okay, Tanya, see you later. It was glad, for, glad to hear from you, too. Bye, Tanya. <laughs> yeah, this is the time they come through. Hello, Paul Vines. Hello, hello. Oh, my, Welcome. No. <laughs> John's over there cutting asparagus. <clears throat> we're gonna can pickle. We're gonna pickle some asparagus. That's a tedious job because I gotta use this one here to measure it out for these uh -huh. here. Cut them off here, then I cut off the bottom. And if they're too long, cut them in half. That way we can freeze that part. Mm hmm You can probably put some of the stems in there without the tops on. Well, after the two jars here, I'll probably will. But okay, those fair jars. But no, they're just jars. <laughs> they might be fair jars. <laughs> Paul in the house. Yep, he sure is. <laughs> yeah, we haven't gone live in few weeks and weeks. No, it's been a while. It's been a long while. Oh. Also now, Maybe you'll like it. Sally likes it. <laughs> since we got this information, but we now have a uh, super thanks on videos. Yeah, we do. I was I was surprised. About yeah, that. we got super thanks on our videos now. So if you're watching one of our videos and you like it, it's like super chatting us. <laughs> it's pretty neat. We do have some videos that we haven't done yet. I got a couple. We got a couple that you need to work on. I love butterflies. <laughs> yeah, butterflies are awesome. I went with the dragonfly because it's a little more aggressive. And if the Jeep was orange, I would have I would have called it monarch, but yeah. It's not it's orange. Red. It's red. So we're gonna go red dragonfly. And there are red, and there are red <laughs> there dragonflies. Are red dragonflies. Actually, well, I have them quite a bit when uh -huh. we're fishing. We were fishing. <clears throat> yeah, we're pickling this. This is this is good stuff pickled. We also like to put it in the. Are you? Oh, uh, Karen Boardman asks, "Are you going to be traveling to Wisconsin this summer?" Actually, we're thinking about. We're maybe thinking about next maybe weekend. next weekend. Depends on the what the weather's doing. We're either going to go north or we're going to go south. I know she's been wanting us to come up and visit her. I know. I've been wanting to get up that way. We are out, out of cheese. I'm out of horseradish cheese. Yeah, we are kind of out of cheese. <laughs> and I'm kind of in the mood for some fresh cheese curds. And string cheese if they got it. Yeah, Mary's kitchen is cool. She does. Her whole kitchen is done on butterflies. It is very pretty. Yeah, we're definitely going to get to Wisconsin sometime this summer. Oh, yeah. If it's not at this least, weekend coming up. At least up. once, if not more. Yeah. Because I do want to go up to see Sty, too. Yeah. That'll be later in the, yeah, in the, in the that'll be later in the season. And Mary's like, I need cheese. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> I need cheese too. Karen, Karen Boardman said, I would love to meet you. That would be awesome. Yeah. 
Mm, yeah, we that would be if we do come up that way, we will let you know. Because we'd love to meet you too. And we can go off track just a little bit if we need to. Yeah, we just if it's that. gonna be a Wisconsin trip, it's more gonna be a wandering trip. We're gonna yeah. take the camping gear, the car car camping gear, but it'll be more of a wandering trip than anything. And the destination is to get cheese. Yeah. And then after cheese. that, or wherever that is, it does not matter. <laughs> yep. I want some cheese curds, Carla says. <laughs> yes, I know. I love cheese curds, especially the fresh ones, the squeaky cheese curds. Might have to stop at Cops Custard, too. I guess. Oh, that's what I got to look at. I got to look at the flavor forecast, but John's got my phone. I want to look that up. Cops Custard in Milwaukee is one of my favorite places to stop. And they, this is a little burger joint that had in a, in a custard, frozen custard shop. Let's see. I mean, right Type in Cops Custard. Okay. K O P. I know how to there spell you. it. Cops Custard, Milwaukee. I need to go to the website. Well, you got to click on one. There's first. flavor preview right there. Oh, okay. Ooh. For May, I don't. I don't know. Ooh, today's uh, what is today? Chocolate banana cream pie is a featured Sunday for the month, and featured shake of the month is chocolate peanut butter. Mm. Ooh, today's flavors is mint chip and Reese's peanut butter cups. Oh, red raspberry for Monday, Tuesday, mm -hmm. Wednesday. Oh. Lemon raspberry Thursday, no. blueberry cheesecake, and tiramisu for Thursday. Friday's grasshopper fudge and malted peanut butter pleasure. Mm. Mm. Saturday, black raspberry and grizzly bear. It's grizzly bear. Grizzly bear is milk chocolate custard, a butterscotch ribbon, and lots of chocolate covered peanuts. Mm, no, <laughs> Karen Burns, says, we have the best cheese curds. Yep. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Mary. <laughs> oh, let's go, Carla. Hope all goes well tomorrow. Tomorrow, what's going on, Carla? I did not get on today. I don't know what's going. What's happening? Hopefully, everything is is good with you, and you guys are well. That you and John are doing well. Oh, yummy! They have one in. Well, Kesha, where I lived a couple of years ago, actually, I've I've been to that one when I went to get the when I went to get the parts for the Subaru. Uh -huh. That's where my mom and I stopped and we ate and we had custard. <laughs> Mary Jones, a chunk of cheese, <laughs> yeah. I should only be in the hospital overnight. I think. Oh gosh, Carla, what's going on? I have missed out on every so much going on, and I have missed out. I feel like I need to be like I need to be on lives a lot more often with people. Because man, I totally missed uh, WMAD last night. We were I was gonna get we were gonna get on, wow. and we lost track of time. We were out at Walmart, yeah. and we didn't get back here in time. And first thing I we, I cooked dinner, and I looked up, and I'm like, oh crap. Back. I know. Today. Heart cath. Ooh, arterial ballooning and stents put in. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh man. Prayers for a speedy recovery from that. That's not a fun procedure at all. Not at all. But it's glad they caught it soon yeah. enough to do stuff to get you didn't have, you know, a heart attack because that's what leads to that. Yeah, Mary. Mary does has had a lot of stents put in and has to has gone through that a few times. Oh, uh, space man Dudley said I need to go to ortho about my knee, but had to go to lung doctor last week and have ophthalmologist and foot doctor appointment. Oh my goodness, lots of doctors appointments, space man. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Robert Rockwell said they, they got a new puppy last weekend. Awesome. Haven't got much sleep lately. Nope, I bet not. 
Ooh, Karen says, I'm having an SVT ambulation on June 13th. Oh, my goodness. Well, prayers for all you guys going to the doctor and, and prayers for speedy recovery, guys. Because, man, not fun having to go through all that stuff. No, it is not. Yeah, we're definitely praying for for you guys. Yeah. That is a lot, Dudley. <laughs> a lot of doctor's appointments. <laughs> yeah, what kind of puppy is it? Oh, Sunday on the way home, butter pecan. They got the best butter pecan uh, custard there. Yeah, they do have the butter, butter pecan, pecan orange dream. Mm. I get an orange the orange cream, the orange dream swirls of frosty orange and smooth vanilla custard. I like their I like butter pecan. Dirty, yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, Mary, that's what I want to ask. Mary, is Dairy Dell opened up down there? Do you well, know? Day. Well, that's what I meant. But I mean, are they still in business? That's well, what I was wondering. <gasps> beagle rat terrier mix. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Does it howl like a beagle? That's quite a combination. Cute. Wow. Karen Borman's like, I had doctor's appointment almost every day last week. Yikes. I've been lucky. And John had a doctor's appointment last week. Yeah, that's normal just normal vid visit to the uh, diabetes doctor, yeah. diabetes specialist. And it went pretty well. You actually, your A1C was lower. Yeah. So that went, that went better than the last one you had <laughs> when it was high. Yeah, I think they did something weird. Something wrong. Somebody didn't do something right when they took your blood for that or tested it. Oh, eight weeks old. Yeah, that's a baby, baby. Aw. Mary said, yes, I think they are, but she doesn't get down that way. Yeah, I know. It's a little bit far for you to go. Spaceman asked if he was going to hunt with it. <laughs> <laughs> with the Beagle Rat Terrier mix. It'd be probably good at sniffing out rodents. I guarantee it would be. Rabbits and all that good stuff. I got my new mug. Yeah, you did. It's Great that. Smoky Mountain Spring 2022. It's got milkweed and a butterfly on it. This is the the spring mug that they put out every year. What you doing, Rascal? Oh, wow. <laughs> Spaceman says, I watched some videos where those dogs can tear up some rats. Oh, I bet. I bet they can. <laughs> yeah, I we ordered it. We haven't gone to the Smokies, but we ordered it. I heard that the... Lottery for the fireflies is getting ready to start, or it started this week. I don't know. The lottery for going to see the fireflies down there. I gotta get my Jeep ready to go get it yeah. all decked out and mechanically awesome, and then, then we might take a road trip. I'd love to take it down there to the Smoky Mountains. It'd be awesome. <laughs> well, you better have a third job for gas I know but it, uses. <laughs> yeah it does use a lot of gas <laughs> better we could trailer it on the truck yeah and a truck can use a lot of gas <laughs> they use more gas than I thought it would it might need some uh, TLC yet we changed the oil in it, but we haven't checked like the spark plugs, wires, and making sure everything's clean. They don't have wires. Oh, yeah, that's what right it doesn't doesn't have wires. Nope. We haven't checked the spark plugs, and it has been sitting a while. It's running good, but there's some few mechanical things that we have to check out yet. Anyway, that we can maybe help it out with. Maybe. Uh, how many miles on the Jeep? It's got 153,000 on it. 
And that's not bad for 2003. <laughs> John's truck's got more miles, a little bit more miles on it. I got 159 on my truck. But it is a 2006. So, but it's about right because it, it was parked for three years. So yeah. it's got yeah, about the same years. miles as the truck. Yeah. All right, Spaceman. Thanks for coming. Really enjoyed uh, talking to you. You take care and hope all the doctor's visits go well. Yeah, I missed all you guys so much. Gosh, it's nice to talk to everybody. It's been a while. It has been a while. I need to get back to trying to do one, like, one once a week. Like some people say, it's been a minute. <laughs> John back there cutting away. Yep, you too. Stay safe, spaceman. Right. Tell your wife we said hi. <laughs> Those seven are done. <clears throat> seven. Yeah, seven. How many? Oh. How much more do we have? How far did you get through the bags? Uh -huh, maybe one bag. <clears throat> one bag. Now these here, I have freaking cut stronger, so they're taller. Yep, they're taller. You can get more in them. I think we'll do the spicy ones in the shorter jars. Got hot and spicy ones. The hot and spicy, and then the other one we got. We're gonna do two bath, two separate batches. Got one hot and spicy, and one. If you guys have ever had our zesty, any of you have tried our zesty bread and butter pickles, this is what we use. Cover the mat. There you go. The zesty bread and butter pickles. These are really good. We usually make pickles with those. But we're going to do the asparagus and try it. Bye, Robert. Have a great night evening. Thanks for coming hey, by. Robert. It's been great talking to you. It's been so long since we've, it seems Talk like it's been forever <laughs> since we talked to anybody. <laughs> Thanks, Karen. Yeah, they do look yummy. We're just, instead of pickles, we're using asparagus. Rascal, what are you doing? Crazy cat. He's being lovey because we're There's home today. Here yeah. He's been missing us, especially me. He's been missing me. While I'm at work. It is nice though to have the extra money, but it does does hamper a lot of things that we do usually because uh, it could have got. I mean, because we got all that extra house chores to do and just regular life junk to get done when we are off. When before we could just go and do because I could get that done during the week. Hmm. We did get these Twizzlers. No, no biting. Behave yourself. We got Twizzlers over here. <laughs> these are filled Twizzlers. Tropical Blast. Pink Guava and Paradise Punch Twizzlers. They're really good. I was really surprised at how good they are. They have filling in them. See? The filling. Filled Twizzlers. I don't know which flavor is which, though. I'm thinking the Paradise Punch is red. This one here, I think, is Paradise Punch. Mm. But they're really good. I bought them to watch a movie last night. And I forgot about them. And I watched the movie and didn't eat them. <laughs> it, it's like Twizzlers. I never did like them. Love the smell of them, though. Yep. These are actually smaller. Or not smaller. Um, Softer. I think it's because of the, the filling that's in them. They, aren't, they didn't get as hard. Mary's like, I don't like them. <laughs> and Karen likes them. These are really good. I like the filled ones better than just the plain ones. Like them or you know. Yeah, it's licorice. Yeah. It's, uh, I don't it's mind a, the regular Twizzlers, but I don't like black licorice. Mm -hmm. 
You don't like the cherry, the cherry ones. Rascal, what are you doing? What? <laughs> what are you doing? Come here. Come on. Oh, gosh, cat. He just wants to be held like a baby. Got the promoter going. Mm -hmm. Don't put your claws in me, dude. <laughs> Nathan's like, hello, kitty. Yeah. <laughs> it's the rascal cat. He misses me a lot. What are you doing, goofball? He's my baby. You got the purr motor going. You guys can't hear it, but man, is it he's a purring like crazy. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? Can't eat my hair. What? Hmm? <laughs> oh, Carla. Did you you saw that picture that John posted? There's a guy here in Indiana in a Jeep club that has that yellow Jeep that says yeah. shark bus all across the front of it. Yeah. <laughs> we saw that we had to share it because we thought about Shardy Cat when we saw it. <laughs> we thought you'd appreciate that and, and a few other people would appreciate seeing that and get a good laugh. <laughs> Actually, he was at the uh, old Topless Days. Oh, right yeah. Yesterday. Yep. They still did it, but I don't think anybody took the top off their Jeep. Because it was raining all day and here. Was, the trail was muddy. It, yeah, it was, the trail was very muddy. i like to go and check out that trail, though. That we can go and do that one of these days with them. Mm -hmm. That'd be fun. I wouldn't mind driving, the, trying to drive over some of those obstacles they got set up. Nothing real serious, but... Just beginner stuff. <laughs> Carl's like, I saw that cracked up. I thought about Shardy Cat too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Karen Borman said that she used the Twizzlers to help her stop smoking. That yeah, because you could hold them and you know take a little bite off of them. Yeah, because they kind of are kind of cigarette shaped, just really long cigarette shaped. What are you doing? <laughs> Give me kitty kisses. Huh? Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, Nathan. Thanks for coming in. Says you all take care. Happy canning. Gotta go. Yep. <laughs> See you later, Nathan. See you later, Thanks Nathan. Oh, now we got the other one up here. Good grief. I'm gonna have all of them. Ah, oh, squeaker. This is our little free legger. I do not have food. Go, go, go. Oh gosh, now I got cat booger on nope drool on my no, glasses. Yeah, she'll drool you. Ew. Cat drool right yeah. across where I look out of the glasses. You have a great day, Nathan. Is it, hopefully it's a nicer day, a warmer day than it is here. Because yeah. it's kind of chilly here. Yeah, it's, chilly here. it's not raining, but it's the wind is cold. It's right off the lake. Out of the northwest, coming out of Canada, and it's cold. I'm wearing sweatshirts outside. Yeah. Where this morning? Sure. We did get our plants from the basement up. We did do that live. We showed the, uh, that. I think it was last live we did was planting the plants. Planting the plants. It was. Oh, we never did an update on the plants. No, we didn't. Oh my goodness. And you want to do one every single day? Yeah. They're about that tall, the plants. Yeah, they ain't, they ain't They're grow probably about, I'd say about three, two to three inches tall. Yeah, they didn't grow a lot. I don't know. They're, they'll be fine. They're yeah. just young plants yet. We need to get them planted in the dirt. Get them in the ground. The get them in the ground. And they'll they'll shoot right up. They just aren't getting natural sunlight. Well, they are outside. Well, now they are, but that direct sunlight. They're underneath the porch. Well, you don't want to give them bricks so much and bring them out of darkness. No, but we can now. Yeah. 
Karen said it's cooler here too. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Um, trying to remember where where in Wisconsin are you at? I'm trying to remember exactly where you're at. I know where uh, Waukesha yeah. is because we've been there. Because if we go to Wisconsin, we'll definitely go up. We'll definitely be up there by Oshkosh. We'll go all the way there at least. Because that's where the cheese place is what we love. <laughs> 66 here today. What is it here today? Let me see. I can look at my look and see what it is, right? Exactly. 59, it says. Mostly cloudy and 59. It's supposed to get down to 43 tonight for a low. Yep. And it is windy, and the wind probably makes it feel five degrees cooler than what it, it actually is outside. How's it going? It's going. Nobody can see what you're cutting over there. Yeah, you see you're cutting. <laughs> they don't want to watch. They don't want to be bored of me just cutting. <laughs> You get out. You get out yeah, here. I got him this shirt at Bass Pro. You guys back up over here so people can see what it says. How far? Right there is good. <laughs> turn this way. Look, there we go. Nope, oh, turn back that way. Put your arm a little bit up. There. Where? Just put it out. Put your arms oh, out. No, no. There you go. <laughs> now I'm stuck. <laughs> yeah, I thought this shirt fits in pretty good. <laughs> He liked it. Not really, but he made me get it. <laughs> oh, Beloit. Oh, yes. I-40 and 3, 3 and I-90. Yeah, you're just south of um, of Madison. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I only like she's only told you that like 50,000 times. Beloit. Yep, yep, yep. You're just over the, the Illinois border right there. We used to get cheese there in Beloit. That was where the wine and cheese cellar was really close to Beloit. We used to stop there. Oh my gosh, we used to get brats there and they were so good. Oh, Mary said she couldn't see what it says. No, I'm not buying it it again. says my equipment may be old, but it still works. <laughs> and it's got a fish, old fish and reel and old lures on it. <laughs> yes, state line. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Perfect for John, Karen says. Yeah, I know. That's what I thought. <laughs> We still haven't gotten our shirts figured out yet. I got I got to get me a couple of shirts that designs made up, but I just have not had the time to get on the computer. And Mary says, "Oh my God!" Laughing, laughing, laughing. <laughs> get down, out of here, move it. Now get up here and bug me. Mm -mm. Crazy cats. That might be almost too much in these big jars here. Hmm? I might, I might be almost too much asparagus in these big jars. Why you say that? I might eat it awful freaking fast mm -hmm. and open them up. Well, if you open them up, we will have to eat them faster. Within a day or a couple days. You know, they probably last a week in the jar because they're pickled. Once you open right them. There. Oh, yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's a nice jar of asparagus right there. Mm-hmm. Sweet. We're going to do those in the zesty bread and butter mix because that way we'll probably eat those faster that way because I know I like the zesty bread and butter. It's a sweet, spicy, hot, spicy. I wonder what all it takes. Oh, yeah, you ain't looked at that yet. Vinegar. You got that. Water in the pouch. The zesty bread and butter, you gotta put sugar in it, I think, don't yeah, you? Yeah, we ain't got much sugar. Seven cups of sugar. No, we don't have that. Yeah, we do. We no. whole, that whole thing out there is full. That's only about six cups in that. No, thing. there's seven. Okay. You'll find out when you go to make it. I'll have it. I have enough. That's almost a pound of sugar in there. Oh, thanks, Karen. She loves all the stained glass that I do. <laughs> I haven't gotten much done here lately. Oh, I still have I still have one for D to make. No, I do. Done. 
I know I got to get it done. I have to get it done. I'll probably work on that some this week. It's supposed to rain, I think, when, when, Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I just got to come home and sit my butt down in front of the paper and pen and start working on it. Yep. Wow, that's great, Mary. She said that her heart doctor told her that she lost 25 pounds. Wow, cool. That's really good. My hair's a wreck today. <laughs> I did get my new glasses. And you can't really see it on here, but they are green and kind of silver at the bottom. I had to take them back to Costco yesterday, though. Because I had them for about a week and a half. And actually, I had worn them for like a few days, like maybe four or five days. And the nose piece fell off. The little silicone, the little pad came off and it disappeared. I don't, don't know where it went. Wow. <laughs> Mary says, yeah, my pants fall off when I try to walk, LOL. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> John says too. <laughs> That's why I try not to walk. <laughs> Oh man, can't see what you're doing. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Ain't that hard to know that all I'm doing is cutting the freaking thing and I need to cut it. I'm cutting the end off of it, that's it. <laughs> we gotta start the brine. Yeah, I'm gonna get all these done. I might get another we gotta dig out the pot. Cutting. I live a half inch of headspace. Uh, hopefully, I'm leaving a hut. I'm not get out of here. You're not jumping up here. You go get in a different window. You don't need to be in this one. Hmm. Hopefully, I'm leaving enough for a half inch headspace then. Excuse Hope me. so. If not, you just have some sticking out. Process know. pints for 10 minutes and quarts for 15 minutes. You ain't processing them for nothing. And that's for pickles. Uh, I'm not doing pickles. Yeah. We are not doing pickles. Um, this I like my job. I like my job. It's nice. It's it's a lot. It was a lot to learn, but I'm starting to learn some of it now. It's getting to be a little more old hat. So getting settled in. It's a lot of hours. Becky. Hours. Oh. Hey. Hello, Roy and Becky. Oh, yeah. I got Mary as a member, too. Mary is a member. <laughs> I'm going to have to do another. Uh, if I get, get a chance, I have to do another video on stained glass. I want to do some, uh, some hum little hummingbirds or something. Or something to put in the garden. Maybe no. some little pretty flowers or stars no, or something no, to put in there. I know I want to do some stuff to stick in the garden. Yeah. Would definitely work. Maybe have one have a have a giveaway again, but not until I get the project done for D. That has to get done first. <laughs> yeah. I probably would do I probably do some video on that as well. It's going to have to be a step-by-step. Step. Yep. Mary's been a member for seven months. Wow, Mary. Awesome. <laughs> Shared you out to the World Wide Web. Thank you. Thank you, Roy and Becky. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You guys have been having fun riding around in Jeeps, too, out there out west. Yeah. I did buy, I did finally break down and buy uh, airline tickets for October. 
We got a hotel booked for October. Towards the end, we're going to go to California. <laughs> yeah. I've never been there. Uh, we have some, I have some family out there in uh, the LA area. And I've always wanted to go to Disneyland. So we're going to do a couple days at Disneyland. And then we're going to go into the mountains, the San Gabriels, uh, the National Los, the Angeles National Forest, and do some some hiking. And uh, we're taking we're we're taking our uh, tent and our gear with us as well. So we're going to do a couple days at Disneyland and a couple days out in the woods in the mountains. Although we're going to have to watch it because it is fire season. I've been told in October. So hopefully keep our fingers crossed. We don't have any forest fires that time when we go so we can do what we want to do. <clears throat> if not, we'll just have to rearrange our plans and maybe go to a different part of the mountains. We might end up in towards Monterey or <laughs> Jeeps are fun. Ah, or a samurai soon. I think all depends on those darn gas prices. I know. No. Uh, yeah. My, the, the Jeep does use a lot more gas than the Subaru did, <laughs> but well, it is more fun to drive. I've been using that app upside. Oh, yeah. I will send you a link to it. Yep, he's been using Upside. And you guys can use it. It gives you so much money back off a gallon of gas. Yep. It's like a cash back app where you yeah. you don't get it when you're, you don't get it off at the pump, but you, you build up the money and they'll transfer it back into what, a bank account or, PayPal, or a, PayPal. a PayPal? They'll transfer it back into a PayPal account yeah. or whatever. Hey, Ashley Ratcliffe, or Rat, Ratliff. Hello. Hi. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> ah, she says she would love to can. Ashley said that. Yep. We yeah. are. Yep. That's, it's fun. Canning's fun. We have a steam canner, which is like a water bath canner. And then we have our pressure canner, which today we're doing, we're pickling. So we don't need to use the uh, pressure canner because with asparagus, if you're going to can just asparagus by itself, you have to pressure can it. But with the acid that's in the pickling mix and all the salt and stuff, it uh, helps to preserve it. Yep. Robert I'll Rockwell, I'll gas is over $5 you. a gallon I'll here. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, it was, it was $5 a gallon here. Yeah. It was, but it went since gone down a little bit. What do we pay today? Two four eighty four eighty eight a gallon. I think four eighty eight a gallon is what we paid today. We put gas in the truck. Yeah, canning is a little bit of work, but it's it's worth it because you got you got food to eat and you preserve it. It's cheaper to buy it that way and make and preserve it than just go back to the store and buy it because those. Those asparagus, the pickled asparagus around here are over $8 a jar. Eight to nine dollars a jar for one small little tall pint jar. So if you figure we paid five dollars a pound for the asparagus, and we'll have like how many jars? <laughs> that saved us. It'll cut probably be half of what we pay to purchased it already made. I'm thinking about turning back soon until gas comes down. Yeah, I know. You're going to go back to Arizona, huh? Yeah, by the time you get back here, slowly it'll be time to turn around and go back out there. Karen Borman says gas has been $4.29 and $4.49. Yes, I noticed that. It's because of our gas taxes here. In Indiana, actually, it, it's getting ready to go up in Indiana again because it, on June 1st, it goes up another 1% for the gas tax. There's no Roy, I sent it to you. And so it'll, it's going to probably increase our gas price that we pay at the pump, probably almost 20 cents a gallon because of gas taxes. 
They shouldn't even be raising them right now. But Our taxes don't go up by... No, they don't amount. go up by it cents. Goes up by it goes by percentage. So the more the gas costs, the more taxes they collect on the gas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Roy Becky's like, just seeing that I can renew my driver's license online. Yes, that's cool. I didn't know they could do a driver's license. I knew about plates and all that. Yeah, if you can renew your driver's license online and you don't have to come back here for anything specific, yeah. I'd probably stay out that way and yeah. save the money. But by the time you get back here, it's going to be time to turn around and go back again. Yeah, I know. I mean, honestly. Mary says gas 429 there. Wow. Yep, that's because taxes in Indiana have gotten so high. Yep. Our gas is almost as high as Illinois' gas now. But I did see that Wisconsin's gas is less. Because their gas taxes aren't as high. Yeah, they passed that tax during a huge state cash surplus, too. They did, yes. And they were talking to our governor here, Governor Holcomb. And they were trying to get him to... The people here were trying... The people from Northwest Indiana were trying to get him to suspend the gas tax right now. Because they're, they're actually tax gas twice in Indiana. They tax it with a special gas tax and they tax it with gas gasoline sales tax, which that's what's going up. The gasoline sales tax is at 12% and it's going to go to 13%. And that's like, geez, crazy. <laughs> Robert Rockwell said, I always drive to Wisconsin for gas. Yeah. If I lived close enough, I sure the heck would too. Yeah. Go right over to Woodman's. <laughs> I like Woodman's anyways. <laughs> Wish we had one around here, but we don't. And they have my favorite milk of all time at Woodman's. It's uh, Lamar's Dairy. Their chocolate milk is to die for. And it comes from up there by Green Bay originally. But it is the best chocolate milk I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Comes in glass jars. It's awesome. Ah, Mary says she's going over to Marty's tonight. I'll see if it's went up since I was there. Out, was out three weeks ago. It probably has, Mary. Oh, I'm sure it has. You ain't been out for three weeks. It's yeah, gone up a lot it's probably it's gone up in the last three weeks. Believe At least me. Here it has. Yeah. Yeah, it was five dollars a gallon, and then it went down about twenty cents just recently. I know it's the gas was a little bit higher yet around Milwaukee area, but if you, once you get away from Milwaukee, it gets it gets less and less. And actually, I think Green Bay and Oshkosh area was a lot lower. It was running like four twenty nine or four nineteen or something like that up there this week. Of course, it is a holiday weekend, so the gas could go either way. A lot of times, it goes up on especially on Friday or Saturday. It's high, and then by like Sunday, it goes down some. Round Lake area in Illinois. Yep. Yeah, you're close enough, Robert, that you guys can just drive right over the line. I know some people here that have been driving into Michigan to fill up because gas has been, the gas tax isn't quite as high in Michigan either. Yes, it is a holiday weekend. <laughs> crap. <laughs> right back, you're like, crap, it is a holiday weekend. Yep, this weekend coming up is. So you might want to refill your gas early in the week before the gas prices go up. Oh. Mary says, yes, yeah, she gets her pump refill tomorrow, so she gets extra time on her bolus tonight. Cool. Awesome. Oh, wait in two weeks. Yeah, I know. When the gap, when the stupid percentage rate goes up here in Indiana, it'll really go back up. Because it'll go up at least 20 cents probably. Yeah. That's why I love to move to Wisconsin. <laughs> I would love to move to Wisconsin. <laughs> Mary's like, I heard gas is going past $6 a gallon. Hopefully not. 
There's no way to tell. That's there's a lot of people. Saying, there's a lot of people that go back and forth on that. So we'll have to just wait it out and see. There's no way to tell unless you have a crystal ball <laughs> to what's and going on. Then we won't be going nowhere. No, a lot of people won't be. We'll just be sticking they around home. Be selling as much gas either, so they won't yep. be making as much money. Yeah, exactly. Our next spot is at a lake. We are shooting to get there Wednesday. Forgot it was a holiday weekend. Yeah, you might want to get there a little earlier. Maybe on Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, leave a day early. Yep, so you get a good spot because it'll know. fill up by the weekend. Because a lot of people go and there, a lot of people take Thursday off and they have Thursday, uh, take Thursday, Friday and have all the way through Sunday to camp. Yeah, in Oregon it's more expensive. California is also more expensive for gas, too. It depends on where you're at, what region. California is more expensive than anybody. California has a lot more taxes. Oregon also has a lot more taxes on their gas. So it's going to be more expensive because of taxes. That's why ours is more expensive here in Indiana is because of taxes. It isn't because the gas prices is any higher than what you guys are paying. It's that it's taxed more. And so our overall price is going to be higher. Same with Illinois. Um, in Illinois, they got... They got uh, state, they got, you got federal, state, and county tax in Illinois. In Indiana, we got federal and state and the state. <laughs> so we got three taxes on our gas that we're paying. Like I said, in its percentage rates, where federal taxes, I think, is not percentage rates. It's based on how many cents per gallon. But our state tax is what kills us. Wow. These winds have us pinned down right now until Wednesday. There's going to be a small window for us to head out of here. Wow. Yeah, it's been a little windy here the last couple of days, but you guys have really got hammered with wind out there this year. When you're in the open area, though, like my mom's farm is the same way. The wind yeah. gets, is always windy down there. It's never just dead calm. Nope. Ah, van life with Gina. Yep. And she's out in Oregon, huh? Yeah, she got, she's the one with the cat. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. How is the forest fire doing? Are they getting that somewhat contained? That's what I'm worried about in October in California, in the, in the National Forest. I'm hoping mm -hmm. we don't have to contend with any forest fires. Because we're hoping to get to do some hiking and camping up there. Because of Pacific Crest Trail actually runs right through the San Gabriel Mountains right there. And there looks like there's some beautiful, big, huge pine trees up in the mountains there, too. And who knows where we'll end up? We might go, we might even drive with a big bear. We'll see what happens. We got two days up in the mountains. But if there's forest fires, it might be two days towards the beach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go see the tide pools <laughs> if it's the forest firing out there mary said the winds have been 20 mile an hour here yeah ours is yesterday were 20 to 30 mile an hour and 40 mile an hour wind gusts yesterday we've had some trees like branches and stuff off of trees down here on division road some some dead limbs have fallen out of trees. Gotta take that freaking suet cake out, or all the things. Why? Freaking grackle won't stay all. Oh, the grackles. It. And you just tear a big chunk out of it. <laughs> It'll be gone before it's made over. Yeah. Bring the feeder. We can bring the feeder in for right I'm now, and we put it back out later I'm on. Eat somebody else's stuff. <laughs> They'll just go get on the feeder. John doesn't like feeding the grackles. <laughs> We did it. We have the Oriole feeders out. We've been seeing the Orioles. Uh, it's improving the fire. What we posted is out our side of the mountain. You can't see it now. They contained it about 40%. That's good. That's good to know. They're good to hear. I'm glad they got the side that was out closest to you out. That's great to hear. Oh, 
Oh yeah, Mary, definitely. We'll oh. we'll get you a souvenir from from that. You don't have to PayPal us anything. Nope. I will just get you one. Okay. <laughs> Mary said, Jan, if I PayPal you twenty dollars before you all go to California, will you pick me up a souvenir from there? I haven't got one since nineteen seventy seven when I was there. Oh my gosh, that was the year I was born, Mary. <laughs> We'll definitely bring you back a souvenir. No problem there. My cost is thirty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll get you something from Disneyland. Because <laughs> we're definitely gonna go to Disneyland while we're there. Because I've always wanted to go there. It's where it all all the Disney parks started. So. Be neat. Roy and Becky said the fire's improving. They got it. The the one that they posted that they could see from their uh, mm -hmm. campsite. Uh, they said that they got it out on that side of the mountain, Good. and they got the fire forty percent contained now. Heads need to roll for that fire. The guy in charge was warned about the wind coming and gave the order to light it. Holy crap! Really? It was supposed to just be a prescribed burn that's awful yeah it, the winds are bad you don't light a fire at all yeah, you shouldn't. Common sense tells you that. some people hmm. don't have that yep yeah it was supposed to be an 1800 acre controlled burn hmm. <laughs> i got out of control pretty fast Karen's never been to California. I have never been to California either. either I have a cousin that lives out there. My great aunt lived out there. and uh, But I never got out there. I was supposed to go out there for my 21st birthday, but I was a little busy with my children. <laughs> so I didn't end up getting to go. But we're going to go out there now and check it out. There's some beautiful, beautiful national forests lands out there in the mountains. Oh, Mary, I was born in Fort Irwin, California when dad was in the army. Yep. Well, that's cool. Oh, man. 400,000 acres have burned in hundreds of homes. Wow. That's, that's just a shame. Yeah, that guy should not, he should lose his job. I'm sorry, but you do something that makes, make a poor decision like that, that affects thousands of people's lives. And you, you got to have more thought than that. Prescribed burns are good and necessary, but you got to really pay attention to what's going on. We've had some prescribed burns here and they did have one that got a little out of control and started another area of the dunes on fire one day. They had ash or something that got carried and they had a wildfire that they had to contain and put out. And again, it was wind, wind related. Mary said it was 120 in the shade when I was there. <laughs> yeah, it can get hot. Yes, all through hot. the great northwest is beautiful. Yeah, I want to get up there sometime too, to the sequoias. We're just going to be in Southern California this time. We won't be making it. We'll be in the high desert and in the, the mountains. They're in uh, just east of Los Angeles area. And then we'll be in Anaheim for a few days. We're actually going to fly into Santa Ana, which is just south of Anaheim. Wow. Karen Borman said she lived in Washington from age one until 11. Washington State is pretty. I've seen pictures. I've never been there, but that's on my bucket list to go there as well. I'd like to see uh, the coast up there in Washington. Uh, the Olympic National Park is up there. I'd love to see that. The beautiful, big, huge uh, spruce trees and fir trees that grow there. It'd be neat to see all that in person. 
And some gorgeous hiking and out that way too. Ah, Mary said, I have pictures of the Golden Gate Bridge we went over also. That's in San Francisco. <laughs> That's a lot farther north than where we're going to be. We're going to be in Southern California. Yeah, we were going to... We were going to fly into LAX, but we heard it's kind of crazy. And uh, one of our airports here, we could be either fly out of O'Hare, which is really cra crazy busy, kind of like LAX. Or we could fly out of Midway. And Midway is a lot more manageable. And I heard that Santa Ana, um, John Wayne Airport is a lot more manageable, too. So we just went ahead and booked it for flying out of Midway, going into into John Wayne Airport. Hey. Hello, hello, the Jewish redneck pepper hey, or prepper, hello. not pepper, prepper. Cool, awesome. <laughs> You're new to the, I haven't seen you before in one of our lives. Nope, Welcome. Welcome. Oh, wow. Karen said, Karen Borman says she lived two blocks from the Pacific Ocean and Pacific Beach. Nice. I bet it was really pretty there. Yeah, we are doing canning today. We are canning pickled asparagus. We are pickling asparagus and canning it. We're going to do some hot spicy ones. And we're going to do some sweet and spicy ones. The bread and butter with uh, zesty pepper flakes in it. It has little cayenne pepper flakes in there. The other one, I think, has a, uh, jalapeno pepper flakes. And that's the difference. The one has the, the cayenne and one has a jalapeno. Great having you here. Honey. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> Can't see what John's doing. Well, you can always unplug the computer. Bring it over. I could. Or hold it. <laughs> yeah, I can do that. Oop, I don't mean to do that. Try unplugging this. Oh. That over here for a minute. Oh, that fell on the floor. Let's go see what John's up to. <laughs> there we go. That's all I'm doing is cutting them. Got to measure them out from one to the other. And cut off a little bit of the end. Stuff them in the drawers. That's a big one. Almost as big as my finger around. Hey, Vicki England, hello. Vicky, hello. Long time no see, Vicki. Awesome. It's been so long since I've gotten to talk to everybody. Yep, it has. It's been a while. John's over here cutting the asparagus up. I can let you chat for a bit, and I can cut for a while. Up to you if you Give want. you a break. Let me finish this jar up. You might have one more jar left, and that'd be it. Okay. You go went through all of it already? Yeah. Wow. I'm telling you, these bigger jars takes a lot more. Okay. That's okay. It takes, I mean, I probably get two jars out of one mm -hmm. of these. It's all right. I've been wondering where you've been. I know. <laughs> We've been working. Yeah. Working and more working. Since I started work, all the chores and things pile up that used to get done during the week. So you get so them on the weekend. So we got to do them on the weekend. So we have to do, I, I got work going at home. When I'm done working for the week, I got to do all that stuff. And John and I have to hit it hard at <laughs> the weekends. And I've been working on this Jeep project. And that's been kind of keeping us busy and trying and then selling the Subaru. That took about a week of our time trying to get yeah. that thing sold and and uh, on the on the road. And there's another jar. Looks good. Right there's what we got. Three, three forks or three pints or three, yeah, three Hey, forks. the Jewish redneck uh, prepper said his wife cans a lot. Awesome. Yeah, we try to can it. We try to the do first some. time we've done uh, asparagus. Yeah. We've never pickled we'll asparagus before. 
the big fire south of us has grown from 548 acres to over 6,000 acres since we discovered it. Wow. That fire is about 65 miles away, and we're 100 miles away from the biggest fire north of us in the in the country. Wow. He's, yeah, I like to see John's face, Mary said. <laughs> you don't get to see it very often. All right, there you yeah, go. That's, that's a crazy big fire. That's all you got left right there. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, you're going to probably have to... I got to do something some with those. those. Yeah, I can do that. some of these ends in, in there, the too. jars, yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm going to get put this back over here and let John go. I'll talk to you guys And in visit with everybody. I will be there in just a moment. I'll sit here for a second and get this plugged back in. Let me do this. Yeah, I'll go ahead and plug that in, and there's something else I want to do on there. <laughs> Plug the computer back in. There we go. Over here. It only takes a minute. Thank you, members, and thank you, moderators, yeah. and thanks to everybody who's come in today and chat with us and catch up. Uh, we have not dehydrated, but we do have an air fryer now that actually has a dehydrate setting on it, and we do have a dehydrator, but we yeah, haven't we do. really done much dehydrating. One thing we've done dehydrating was strawberries one year. Yeah, we did strawberries. We dehydrated strawberries, which I still have them in freeze-dried packages. We, yeah. we Dehydrated them and I put them in a Ziploc or a like a vacuum, vacuum sealer. sealer. Yeah, I'd like to try to dehydrate chanterelles because I think they would be really good in soup. Chanterelle mushrooms. If we Probably find good. some this year, I'm going to try to do some. Thanks, Mary. Uh, Karen, we're in beautiful background. It is. I like all the monarchs. <laughs> Oh, Rascal, what is your problem, kitten? He's about ready to get put in the other room. He wants to be petted. Yes, I know. Goofy cat. <laughs> Petting my cat. He's being lovey. Oh, you're going to, yeah, he wants to be fed. Oh, Squeaker doesn't have a bowl. No, Squeaker. It's up there. Ah, God darn it. <laughs> <laughs> it's up there. Oh, no cat. I put, I washed it so she has a clean bowl. Oh, crazy cats. Crazy kitties. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do some last minute cutting here and I'll probably put some of those in the, in the, uh... oh, I see what he's doing. He's making himself a drink. <laughs> a mixed drink. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna change right. seats with you. Good. And I'm gonna come over here and finish. Oh, right. ow! Okay, I'm good. Hmm. Things going here. I gotta dig out the big. Uh, we got three cats. Pans. Pops. Pops and lids. Yeah, we have three kitties. And they're pesty. Nope, we got three. Pesty kitties. Oh, I like the Kilo Sunrises too, but right now I got Crown and Coke. Crown and Coke. 
Crown and Coke. With a little bit of grenadine in it. So it makes it almost like a cherry Coke. Oh. going to get a little loud in here for a second. And bang some pots around. Pot. Well, we got three. We got Rascal, Cody, and Kit Kat. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. What time is it anyway? Oh, it's only five o'clock. Pulled her after. You do however you want to do them. Uh, it don't matter to me. All I know is that freaking asparagus was expensive. <laughs> yeah, it was. A little bit. Won't get it there no more. And that is good looking as asparagus, though. It is good. Yeah, it's good looking. Uh -huh. You ain't jumping up our Tanner food, boy. You got enough fat on you to last you the rest of your <laughs> life. Oh, that's uh, hot and spicy. What's the hot and oh, I see the hot and spicy has got jalapenos in it. Uh, yeah, it does. Jalapeno flake. What's got in there? Yeah, it's got turmeric in it too. Yeah, they both do. You've seen a vanilla grill. Hello. No. <laughs> yep, Mrs. Wags, right there. Mrs. Wags. What we're using. Yep, hot and spicy and zesty bread and butter. Mm -hmm. We're going to try it, see how it turns out. I also want to congratulate you guys on yes. hitting that 1,000. Congratulations. It's a hard milestone. It is. It's hard to hit it. It's hard to get there. It takes a lot of work to get there. A lot, a lot. I'm watching that video of theirs this morning. Yeah. They got that. Wild asparagus. I've never found wild asparagus. No, not wild. We bought this from a grower. It has a nice field full of it. Mm -hmm. never, uh, you need to get down, cat. It wild. Yeah, neither have we, but we're going to try it. What's that? Ever had bread and butter asparagus? Oh, yeah. The zesty bread and butter? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> hey, everything just disappeared on me. Uh oh. The heck? You lost the uh, live? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Screen you just went straight off the screen for some reason. Wow. It was weird. 
Everybody still there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. At least I hope they are. I think this is going to be about it. You guys don't have your watch hours yet? I thought sure you did. Yeah, I know. Oh, let me get on well, here. We gave you some watch hours today. <laughs> Watched a couple of your foraging videos. I'm going to give them some more, too. And the taste testing video on the. Oh, I can't do it just yet because I got to have the volume turned up just a hair. As soon as we get off our live stream, I'll leave you running. Yeah. Sure will. All righty. I think I put a couple little pieces in there. Let's go around with some. I'll run your play all list for you. I don't have a problem doing yeah, that at all. Yeah, we'll definitely do that. And then Janet run around hers too. Yeah, sure can. Ron Becky, been a member for eight months. Awesome. Eight months. Holy crap. <laughs> well, this is cool. <laughs> I don't see that on mine. That's because you're not running, uh, you're running on stream yards, not. Oh, YouTube. okay. Thank you. That's awesome. All right, I think we got them all. I gotta get, I gotta get going on these other ones. I need wide mouth jars, I think, right? There's some over here. On the, on these little pieces. Yeah. Or are we gonna freeze more of that up? I whatever you want to do. What happened to the other bags? It's over there on the counter. If you open your eyes. Where? Bags. Open your eyes and look behind the jars. Their bag is over there. Oh, there should be another bag though. You only gave me one. Okay. I'll freeze this. Make sure it's closed up. I don't know if I closed it up uh, or not. I haven't got a bag out. What the heck? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Back in behind stuff. I'm going to freeze some of this up for just plain old eating. Yeah, it only counts for the 365 days. Yep. If you don't keep it up after you do get moderated to moderation, they can take it away from yeah, you too. They, can. they don't normally or monetized. Do that, but they don't normally do that. No, I hope not, because we are we probably don't lost probably part of ours. Of and we ain't been going live and going live gives you quite a few hours. Yeah, we haven't been going live lately. Nope, ain't had time to. It's so crazy. Everything going on. Oh, you'll get fourteen hundred. I didn't. I think oh, you yeah. have that in no time. Yeah, you'll get that. We haven't gotten to go live or go to other people's live streams very much mm -hmm. lately at all. So, if anybody else in here wants to run Gypsy Manila Gorilla's playlist, go for it. Yep. Run that play all list. Yeah. Just make sure you got the volume turned up at least one notch. Yeah. Or it will not count. Mm -hmm. Up here, oh, the grackles are PO'd at you, John. Oh, I'll bet you they are. They're running through the grass now. Oh, good, let them run through the grass. <laughs> oh, now they're fighting. Do it this way. Pop out the chat. That way I can. Um, use that. Use that over there. That's usually what I do. I usually pop out the chat. Oh, I see it up there now. It says, well, this is cool. 
<laughs> yeah, I missed that. Uh -huh. All right, got that one. Put it in here. Freezer getting awfully full. Yeah, make this brine. Yeah, I know. Do you want to pickle some of these other pieces or no? And just want to freeze them up. I don't care. Yeah, just freeze them up. Just, some do it that way or just throw them all in a jar and throw some brine in them. Probably might have more brine left over than you think. We might. I'll make one more bag. And then we'll do the rest that way. No, we only got one more bag left. Yeah. You think there's more to it than to it, but there's not a lot there. Put it in the path and put it on the grill, or we can. And I put it on the grill. Right, I'll put it in the. Uh, in the put it in the steamer. steamer. And we'll steam it. All right, we got this brine made. Well, there's the pack right there. So there's what you need. Seven quarts, but I think that there's not. It won't take as much. Yep. What you need. We have a lot of brine left over, I think. Need three and a third cup of white distilled vinegar. Oh, uh, the vinegar. Vinegar's out now, breezeway. Oh, that shelf by the, uh, ooh, by the garage door. Okay. I hope we, hopefully we've got enough vinegar. I bet we don't. We're not using apple cider. We're not using apple cider. Okay. That's what we used in the, uh, the other stuff. Yeah. Uh, not using apple cider. How much you got in there? Right? That ain't no seven and a half, seven and a third cup. You think so? Nope. Somebody's going to have to go to the store. Oh, I might have to do the zesty bread and butter first. How much does that cost? You're going to go to store to get sugar for that. No, I have sugar. Yeah, eight and three quarters cups oh, of geez. freaking vinegar. <laughs> Somebody's got to go to the store. Send us to the store I'll to get two jugs of vinegar. He ain't been drinking tonight. No. I can't reach it. Said he woke up around midnight, had a headache. Oh, I bet. Can't reach it. Uh, what are you looking for? Try and get this down. Oh, good lord. <laughs> get Hold on. Down. Tongs. Tongs ain't gonna do that. Ow! Need something? That ain't gonna do it either. I might scoot it out here a bit. Yeah. I can reach it. Here, grab this. Here, grab this. Reach up there so let it freaking grab the top of it so you can pull it to you. As long as you don't let some other glasses fall off and hit you in the head. head. Come on, throw it through the cups. I can't reach get it. it. Get it. Get it. Get it. I can't reach it. It's definitely hitting you in the head, is what it is. <laughs> There. <laughs> I don't want to get hit in the head. Yeah, lives are choppy when we travel too. There. Use old pickle juice. Oh, I don't, I don't think we have any. 
our pickle juice has got other stuff in it because we make our own pickles. This is a four cover. Hey, I didn't even use this. It's brand new. Good. It had a sticker on it. First time for everything. I think I got this for Christmas. She's got a step stool. Yeah, I do, but it's outside. It's out in the garage. And I had to use it for the Jeep. I can't reach the windshield. <laughs> it doesn't have any steps on it yet. This is a four cup. We'll find out. Yeah, you'll find out. I say somebody's got to go to store one way or the other. Yeah, we are going to have to go on everything. We should have got like Costco yesterday. I don't think it. You got maybe six cups, is all you want to have. You might have enough in there for one batch. We got seven. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, just over six. Nope, got six exactly. There Dang. you go. Told you, somebody got to go to the store. If you want to do it, you got to go to the store. I know. See what Dustin's doing. Send him to the store. <coughs> He's in there playing on I games with his friends. So. Tonight. I don't think you can leave it. Was he D&D on a computer? Yeah, they were doing it uh, via Zoom or something. Or uh, well, either you can go or I can go. No matter to me. It's the end of that one. Didn't can even I think about substitute that. one cup of... Uh, no, we cannot. <laughs> apple cider no, we are not. <laughs> it's still vinegar. Okay. Well, we might not need as much brine. We might not need as much brine. Well, then right. put freaking water in it if you don't want to go to the store. Yeah, we can do a little bit of water. Water down. I, I don't care. And then you ain't going to make your other one because you got to have an eight and three quarters well, cup for that. We have to go get to the store. Exactly. Okay. Well, guys, we'll cool. see you later. I'm, I'm I've got to go to the store. Hold on. Store Hold on. You won't freaking go. I'll go. No, nope, you want to talk to everybody. No, nope, you stay here and talk to people. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll be sitting there for another hour debating on if you're going to the thing on store or not. Where's my phone at? I don't know. It's over there on the thing. Where's my thing on keys at? I have my jacket. Oh yeah, we can use half the package of seasoning. Yeah, we can cut the seasoning down. Can't do that. We still got a, we still got another freaking. Because I'm only gonna we got. Four jars that are gonna be. Yeah. We still got another whole pack that we gotta make. Oh yeah, that we do. For eight. Yeah. It won't take me ten minutes to go to the dang on store. It's like three minutes up the road. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I don't want to go because I don't want to miss something. I'll go. <laughs> yeah, I know you will, and you'll be in there for thirty minutes looking around at everything. Mm, no, not exactly. All right, I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> Love you. Love you too. Use old pickle juice. <laughs> yeah, we could. Yeah, the store here is only like five minutes away. It's not that far away. The grocery store. Hopefully he's got his wallet. <laughs> There goes the blue jay. I put peanuts out for them today and they've been going over there. We could use half the package of seasoning, but have to go grab a lunch table lunch lunchable too. Time to go to town. Yep. <laughs> wow, Roman Becky says 26 miles to the grocery store here. Yep. That's a haul. Yeah, we're only Five minutes away from a grocery store. <sighs> ah, your village is only seven miles away. Wow. Yeah, five miles to the grocery store. It's probably not even five miles. I want to say maybe three miles to the grocery store. Ten miles away. Yeah, Mary's, there's no grocery store real close to you either. A little bit out. You do have a convenience store, the gas station. 
but they probably don't sell like vinegar or sugar or anything like that there at the gas station. Ah, the pedal bike to town before. Yep. Yeah, we we could ride our bike to the store here. We could walk to the store here. It would take a little bit of time to walk there and back, but we could walk there. <laughs> I forgot to Oh yeah, you gotta have the watch hours Yep, yep, yep I'm just looking back and seeing this on the chat Oh, yeah, cool. You have some nice interviews coming up. Awesome. <laughs> no, it wouldn't be boring to have a live. You guys are always busy. I know. Same with us. We're always crazy busy anymore. Don't seem like we have the time to get to do regular live streams. Uh, I had a dumpster two, two miles away. Yeah, I know. Having to store all that gar your garbage and stuff is not fun. Or having to haul it very far. On triple prices at the gas station. Yeah, the gas station. But if, it, if it's something you need and you don't want to go that far. The gas station jacks up the prices of all the stuff that's convenient because it's convenience. It's a convenience store. So if you need like bread or something or milk, it is it's a lot more expensive at the gas station. Oh crap. Oh, I get worn down. <sighs> Had a late night last night. Stayed up late watching a movie. We watched uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife. We hadn't sat down and watched a movie for a little while. So we actually watched that last night. It was a good movie. I liked it. Oh, I got the yawns all of a sudden. I'm gonna eat one more of these. Twizzlers! I like the light pink ones better. I think those are the pink lava. Twizzlers. And they're filled. You have a little green goo inside. Oh, it's got hair on it. Dang it, cats. How'd you get hair on my Twizzlers? Yuck. I think we got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. The electric cars are... New cars are expensive. That's if you can even get one. Because they're back-ordered. Yep. <laughs> Mm-hmm. These are good. Put them in the pickle brine. No, thank you. <laughs> they do have sweet and sour twiz filled Twizzlers, I saw. At the store, though. <laughs> oh, garage is manageable. Mmm. It's all the other trash out here. We got a freaking play sandbag blow into our camp today. Wow. Where the heck is a sandbox out here in the plains in the middle of nowhere? Exactly. Play sandbag. That's crazy. It's amazing how far though those plastic bags can fly in the wind. Oh, garbage, not garage. <laughs> 
darn autocorrect. And plant tomatoes in it. Yeah. <laughs> Tomatoes take quite a bit of water, though, the, out in the, you'd have enough sun, but it, you have to keep them wet and yeah, a lot of watering. And water is at a premium out there in the desert. So you guys might just stay out that way then this summer, huh? Oh, yeah, the Mylar balloons. Yeah, those are terrible. And people... Oh, we're going to have a balloon release. Why? You're just releasing trash. Because <laughs> what goes up must come down eventually. <laughs> well, that's true. Yeah. I didn't think about that. You seal them up. The moisture will stay inside the soil better. Well, really, water is pretty easy to find. That's good. That's good. <clears throat> How long do you guys stay out on a tank? Can you stay out on a tank of water? When you do a fill up, do you go do you take the water tanks with you in the car and go fill up or do you fill up when you go and dump your RV? Oh, Becky may come back if we decide to turn around. Wow, really? Hmm. So she would come back to Indiana for a little bit? I guess, yeah, the car would get, would go a lot further on a tank of gas. That's for sure. Or if she had to, you could get a plane, get her a plane ticket if she had to come back to Indiana for a little bit. She could get a plane ticket and get her to the airport and then drive the car back with you. It'd be hard, though, to move around, though, with the car and the RV. But she could come out back to Indiana, get what she needs to get done back in Indiana, and then fly back to you. A plane took it. Probably cost you less than the gas to drive all the way back to Indiana. Even though they went up a little bit, too. But you can always find those want to get away flight things and pick pick a flight that's the cheapest i think we got our cheapest ticket was like on south it was, that was on southwest and it was if you went to spirit it was cheaper like spirit airlines or one of those but our flight back uh, or out there was like 170 dollars one way to fly to la no, the flight back was a little more expensive because we didn't want to fly late at night. Because I'll have to go to work the next day. John will have the extra day off, but I won't. Oh, wow. Both the car and honey with water we when we dump and have to haul 90 gallons. Wow, that's a lot of water. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, she could fly. I'm gonna take her and drive the drive to the air, drive her to the airport in like Phoenix or something or the nearest one. Mm-hmm. That would be awesome. And then she could fly home and then fly back to you. It might be cheaper than actually driving the car all the way back. 
That'd be the way to go. That way she can stay and do what she needs to do here in Indiana. If she's got to visit doctors or whatever. And then just fly back. Save you on the gas money. That's for sure. It, it would help. That's what I would do for sure. <laughs> that way she can do what she needs to do and then come right on back to you and wouldn't have to drive all that way by herself too. Because that's a long ways to drive by yourself. Mm-hmm. Non potable. 15 gallons of drinking water, 45 gallons of water for the. Uh huh. And Bobby. <laughs> yep. Yeah, might as well save the money. I don't know how to send anybody the, the stream for the stream yards, but I would invite the people to come up. But I don't really know how to run this. <laughs> I've never run stream yards by myself before. John always does it. Yeah, I concur. Exactly. Save the money where you can. <laughs> uh, Oklahoma City's halfway. We'll make the decision there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because even the four-cylinder car will still use a lot of gas at these prices. And the fly in the midway is not too bad. Or Indy. South Bend's a little pricey, I think, to fly in and out of. Well, if you yeah, have, if he works for United, you should be able to get into South Bend. I didn't think about that. <laughs> I know, I've got the munchies, too. That's why I'm munching these dang Twizzlers. I need to put them away where I can't reach them. Oh. I don't know if I should make the zesty ones. I can probably do the hot and spicy pickles first. We're going to put those in smaller jars. And then the bigger jars, we're going to do the, bread, the, the zesty bread and butter. I gotta make. I gotta check and see if my fish is thawed out. It's in this bowl behind me. Let me go check real quick. Oh, not exactly. It's starting to thaw, but it's not there yet. I got bluegill. Got ten fish in this bag, and ten fish in this bag. The bluegill, ten fish. That's usually how I package them up. That way I know exactly what's in what bag. So I'll be cooking up 20 bluegill tonight. We're having fish fry. Fish fry and then fresh asparagus. Fresh steamed asparagus and pan fried fish. And it is already, wow, 6 o'clock, so it's getting to be about dinner time for us. we got to get this pickling stuff done so I can cook. Once we get the brine made, it won't take very long to steam these. It's going to put them in the steam canner. It only takes like 10 minutes to get them hot and sealed up. And, of course, tonight's early bedtime night because work tomorrow at 4 a.m., at 4 a.m. and stuff is killing me. We work 10 hours on Monday through Thursday and then 8 on 
eight hours on on Friday. Yeah, I might just do that, right, Mary? That's a good idea. Throw them in the bag and over in the bag and just pour water over them. Thaw it out in no time. There we go. Throw them in the sink with some water over top of them. <laughs> yeah, lukewarm. That's what I kind of did. Well, that's kind of cold, actually. Keep changing that out. Sit in that warm, lukewarm water for a little bit. Get them thawed out. I pulled out a bunch of raspberries today, too. I was going to make jam. I still have raspberries to make. I was going to make raspberry jam and pancake syrup, but they're not thawed out yet. They will be, though, and I'll have to make it tomorrow. So tomorrow night I'll be canning jam. <laughs> Asparagus today, jam tomorrow. Yeah, the cold water, it, it'll the water will cool off pretty quickly. Oh, they float in there for a little bit. <laughs> John will be back here in a jiffy. Oh, really? In raspberries, huh? Red or black raspberries? Because we have red raspberries here. And I have way more. I got a bunch of runners started this year off my plants. I'm going to have to get some, uh, some of that nylon twine and tie them up on my T-post, put T-posts in the ground, tie them up and try to keep them contained so I can mow around them. They're already getting pretty tall. I can mow off the runners that way and keep the runners kind of under control. Keep one straight line instead of having them go everywhere else. I'm going to dig some of the runners up and kind of fill in around the other plants and maybe extend my row and make it a little longer. Oh, they start red and turn black. Yeah, that if they start red and turn black, those are black raspberries. And those are good, too. Black Wild black raspberry jam. That sounds pretty tasty. I have to do that. I have to go and pick some. Kind of have to go and pick a couple of times, though, because they don't all get ripe quite at the same time to have enough to make a batch of jam. In the world are you doing, cat? Where'd you go? Crazy cat. Yeah. Been a wild and crazy weekend. The rain yesterday, we didn't get a whole lot done other than run errands and shop. We did a lot of, we did Costco run and got my glasses fixed and then got back here and went to Meyer and the Meyer, uh, got to Meyer, went inside the door and they said, cash only, our credit card machines are down. I was like, well, I guess we're going to Walmart. <laughs> you can't use a debit card. I'm going to Walmart. Didn't have enough cash to uh, buy what I needed to buy. I think I just heard John's truck door. 
think I heard him. We'll be able to get these this pickle brine going. This one here does not require anything but vinegar in this pouch. Oh no, seven and a half cups of water. <gasps> Wait a minute. This one says three and a third cup of vinegar, not seven cups of vinegar. Now this one calls for a lot of vinegar. This one here only calls for three and a third cups of vinegar. What? This one, the hot pickle, the hot spicy. No. It says right here, seven and a third cups of water. Oh. <laughs> I could have started this one. Darn it. Who took best of wood or wouldn't I get sugar? I did get sugar. Oh, you did get sugar. <laughs> yeah, I, I was looking at the wrong thing. I was looking at water instead of vinegar. Well, Rut row. <laughs> Rut row. Ooh, that, <laughs> uh, so I need to med There's six cups in there. So I guess we're going to do the zesty bread and butter ones first. They're sticky on my charger. What did you do to it? Uh, I didn't do nothing to it. Now the freaking catbird's inside the dang on jelly feeder. Oh, the catbirds will eat jelly. There's a little sticky <laughs> rob right there on the dang on. Oh. Yeah. Don't know about anything about that. <laughs> I didn't get any Twizzlers on it. That's for sure, because I've been Probably sitting did. here munching on Twizzlers. <laughs> yeah, they said they're going to, or and Becky, you're going to get up to uh, Oklahoma City, and then they're going to decide whether or not they're going to turn back around and go back. And But Becky may have to come back here. And I, I said, well, she might, instead of driving the car all the way back, she might want to fly. Yeah, it'd be, be quicker, better, and, well, and you you'd be cheaper on gas. Pick her up. And there are some works for United or not United American Airlines. No, that'd be perfect. Yeah, they, so she could maybe even fly into South Bend. Yeah, and save her some save them some money. Yeah, <laughs> Gypsy and Vanilla the girls said they hate starlings. <laughs> yeah, we have grackles that are trying to eat our suet. No, they weren't trying. No, oh, they were eating the suet. They're out there all confused now. Yeah, looking for it. on one side and a freaking grackle on the other. On which feeder? On the... Oh, on the shepherd's rod? No, on the top of the freaking board. Oh, okay. I know I put peanuts in the shells out there. Oh, good night, Karen. Gotta go get some dinner. You have a great evening, too, and thank you so much for coming in and chatting with us tonight. Yeah. Really enjoyed uh, chatting with you. And we'll keep in touch, and if we get up there to Wisconsin in your neck of the woods, we'll definitely, if we're heading that direction, we will uh, message you. Come by and, and, and visit. Meet up and see each other. <laughs> yeah, go up for lunch. Yeah, I'm making her hungry. I was giving her munchies by eating these the Twizzlers. Yeah, you're eating in front of everybody. <laughs> Twizzlers are good. Eat. <laughs> six out. Uh, six o'clock. It is dinner time. Yeah. That's why I got the fish in there. Yeah. Trying to throw them out. You're trying to not throw them, but I don't know what's going to work out. Mm -hmm. You got an ice cold water, so. It was warm. Yeah. It gets cooled off fast. What you say now. <laughs> hey, How do you bring somebody up? Check that out. Oh, oh, one whole bag of blue raspberry Jolly Ranchers. That's all that's in a bag. How do you, what do you mean? How do you bring somebody up? Oh, the man next door shoots at the starlings. <laughs> what do you mean? How do you bring somebody up? Like, how do you put share this the little stream thing Copy out? Copy that. Okay. Control. Copy. And then go over there to the thing and paste it. Paste. If anybody would like to come up and chat, I am posting the link. You must be able to know who you are. Yep, we gotta be able to see who you are. Mm -hmm. 
Because I got to put, you got to put a. Uh, do what? You got to put vinegar inside the, uh, one thing too, inside the uh, steam canner. Oh, yeah. Can't remember freaking what it is. We got bluebirds, blue jays, cardinals, red wing, red wing blackbirds, nuthatches, orioles, catbirds, house finches, red bellied woodpecker, red downy woodpeckers. What else do we see? Oh, the rose, the rose beaks. The rose, red, red, red breasted or uh, rose crested sparrows. Oh yeah, we had the white crowned sparrows. Not quite crest. We got the white crest or white, white breasted nut hatches. Nut hatches. We've had a flicker around too, but I haven't seen them in a while. Yep. Hummingbird. We've never seen a hummingbird. We got doves. Mm hmm. They, the Red Wings, Mary, love water. We have Red Wings around here because the pond back here and because the ditch over here on the side. Mm -hmm. Wow, he's flying. Mm hmm. We had a car show today, a car and bike show at the fairgrounds, which is about four miles straight east of us here. One and three quarters cup of vinegar. Yeah, yeah, that's all because there's six cups in that pot. I know. I remember. The Twizzler stuck in my teeth. <laughs> yeah, we've been enjoying the birds. I like to watch the jays. They we throw the peanuts out out there, and the jays will come over and they will pick them up. And they'll measure, they'll weigh them. Like they'll pick up one and drop it, and they'll pick up another one and drop it. And they, they pick up the one that ha that weighs the most, and then they take off with it, and then they hide it. They're hiding and sticking them in all different spots in the yard, and so they can go back and get them later. They're like, well, if I leave them here by the feeder, then probably somebody will take them, and I won't get them. So they pick them up and they hide them, so they know they only they know where they're at. Hmm. We're seeing birds that have small feathers looking greenish blue. They're about the same size of a sparrow. Almost bluebird. Greenish blue. Oh, greenish blue. Ah, that's, that's probably a warbler. Either a warbler or uh, indigo. No, not green. Indigos are solid blue. Indigo buntings. We've seen indigo buntings uh, down by the river. Here, down by the Kinky River. And the undersides are white. Hmm. Sounds like some kind of warbler. The bluebirds, they're kind of a they're kind of a bluish greenish color, but they they have a red belly, like a robin colored belly. Yeah, like a reddish orange belly. Yeah. Gotta be some kind of a warbler, Mary. Does it come to a feeder? It, normally, warblers don't come to the feeder, but you'll see them eating bugs. They love to eat bugs. Oh, it might be the gnat catchers. Could be a gnat catcher. The gnat catchers are kind of green. Yeah, some of the gnat catchers, and they eat tons of bugs. They're really good to have around because they eat flies and other little flying insects, little gnats and. Little beetles. How many cups of sugar did it say? Seven. Seven cups of sugar. That's a lot of sugar. That's what you said. Some bread and butter calls for. Yeah, that's like eating jam. That's that much sugar and jam. <laughs> so eating those peppers is like eating jam. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. We've seen some bluebirds here that are so blue they're almost lo almost look purple. Yeah, we have a male that's so that's that dark dark really almost royal blue color. Hey, there's somebody in the basement. 
Hold on, I'm gonna add you up here. There he is. What's happening? Hi. Howdy, howdy. See if the internet cool? will do that. Oh, it's cold here. Is it cold? Yeah, it's in like that full here? side of it. That was full. Mm -hmm. It's only six, almost seven cups. Okay, I was wrong. <laughs> Here, click this little thing right there. Uh, this one? Yeah. Nope. Nope. That, that one. one. Yeah. There, there we go. go. How you been doing, Roy? I don't think he heard you. Are you there? Mike told me I don't know. Up. I'm on a say hi. Mm -hmm. Hi. But Hi, Becky. <laughs> I think our internet. Yes. Probably. Uh, I can't one website. Stop. Maybe mm -hmm. our microphone ain't picking it from being far away. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's bad. It's still baby girl. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Ah, uh, my Amazing. internet works so great at work. I can, and a lot of times I'll be sitting there and I'll be listening to when he gets on, and I'll be there listening with him at work and lunch. But we only get a half an hour at lunch, so yeah. Yeah, we usually listen while we're eating. eating. <laughs> Eat lunch. 14. I wish YouTube would just tell us when you guys go live. No, they don't tell you don't get notified. No. Wow. Well, we haven't been live in a quite a long time. It's been probably been three weeks. Yeah, but what's the sense on turning the bell on if they don't use it? Exactly. I know. They're not gonna send notifications. Yeah, I went out, was organizing the car and everything because Scott's gotta go to town sometime and mm -hmm. Come back inside, sat down to edit this video, and flipped the phone on and seen you guys were on. I was like, well, please, <laughs> you guys were on for 56 minutes when I come on. Oh, wow. All right, man, yeah, it's on. chilly here today. You go from running the air conditioning to running the heater and then back again. Well, we're in the high desert. It's 6,500 feet above sea level here. Wow. That's why it's cooler. Mm -hmm. But these winds are just unseasonable for here, I guess. It's just mm -hmm. crazy wind. Yeah, it's been a little windy here, but especially down at the farm where it's out in the open. That's where that's like the thing here. We're out in the open here. Yeah, it's been like a dust storm down there at the the farm, man. Blowing all yeah. the topsoil everywhere. Thankfully, all this this grassy plains and these pin junipers and creosotes keeping the dust down. That's good. Yeah, we've been in. We were supposed to get down in the forties tonight. We got to twenty nine last night. Oh wow, that's cold. And of course, the heaters packed up for the summer. Oh yeah, that's chilly. Yeah, I, t I took the dog's blanket last night, even. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw yeah, in Colorado yeah. where a friend of ours lives in Colorado, and she's in southern Colorado, but they got snow, like shovelable snow, probably a good eight inches or so. See, our view got snow. They're... Uh... Camp hosting somewhere there in Colorado, and he shared a picture today, and they got quite a bit of snow. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, they can have it. Yeah, they want us to come yeah, up they there. They can and have camp. it. <laughs> That's why I say too. They can have it. <laughs> We're done with snow for the till then till the, the leaves fall off again. <laughs> They're up at ten thousand feet, I think. They're not too far from uh, Denver. Mm. Yeah. Well, Denver yeah. is only yep. 5,000. I told Roy, yeah, yeah, they do. Higher than Denver right now. We're up in that area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're higher in Denver right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we tried to yeah. stop by Scoops and Smiles the other day in Bass Lake, but they were closed. We didn't make it there early enough on Saturday. 
Yeah, they've gotten hit with a lot of catering orders, and ah. it's all basically the same we ran. But they got a they got a little boy that's uh, he's got cerebral palsy. Yeah, he's, he's more sick, like a vegetable state, and they have to take him to Riley's quite a bit. Ah. And they'll they usually have to close at the last minute when that happens. Mm -hmm. uh, the kid's pretty bad off. Ah, uh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Those around us can treat him right. Mm -hmm. Danielle does a great, a tremendous job with him, taking care of him. Yeah. But that is, and we're not bragging. He's the best cook in Stark County. I mean, <laughs> it, that's he's. We definitely he's are going to try to get get over there one of these days. Well, the place is like two doors down from the people we know that live on Bass Lake. Yeah, I, they're just down the road from uh, some friends of my mom's. Like what? Like, mm. Literally like three houses down. Yeah. Like I think yesterday they had the uh, rib tip special for ten fifty nine from a macaroni wow. cheese. <laughs> I roll. wish I'd known that. We've been there. I would have been there for ribs. Rib tips, yeah. He loves rib tips. <laughs> hey Dustin, we're live. Just so you know. <laughs> Got the cat going over there. <laughs> no. I'm making me rice. Oh, yeah, we're out of taters, aren't we? Yeah. I forgot. Um, out, of out of taters? You can't run out of taters. <laughs> yeah, that's a crime. Yeah. There we go. What else we got up there? Yeah, Mary, those bluebirds are pretty. And they do look kind of like the buntings. Right. Except for they got the red, the reddish colored belly. We put it. John put the bluebird out. Oh, we're going to cook fish, too. Pork and do the refresher. I'm just really hungry right now. I don't even really hungry. You ate today. I haven't had two proteins. Yeah, but we're going to eat. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You got enough last year for a couple weeks. I'm going to ask me maybe a week and a half. Fair enough. I don't know how to go to the airport site. I had a, a Danish. Go for it. There's cherry ones and there's cheese. Cream cheese. Oh, they're good. I liked them. We got some Danishes yesterday at Costco while we're there. You kind of miss Costco. Mm hmm. Yeah. You know how to get big. Who else has got ant problems? Yeah, anybody else got ant problems? <laughs> ants. We do from time to time. I hate the little ants. ants. They keep coming in and trying yeah. to get in the house. These little black ants. Ugh. Oh man, I smell that vinegar. Woo wee! You ain't smell enough. Smell nothing. cooking. I don't know why you've been yawning all the time. Huh? I saw you on the <laughs> You saw yawning. me? Yo, you were watching and, and driving at the same time? Shame no, on you. I was listening. <laughs> you being there talking crap about me. Oh, yeah, right. Complaining <laughs> 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 right about the cats getting hair on your freaking twizzlers. Yep, they did. <laughs> I'm saying, I'm the cats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's still the hair. No, no. <laughs> they are sugar ants, Mary said. Probably so. But they're not going for sugar. They're oh, going for the water. Where were we? Where were we? Battles on the ants. Hey, Lily. Yeah, Hi. Tech child hello the hell, long time we, we were we were in uh lake texoma in texas the ants were so big there you could put a saddle on them hello? <laughs> i would too hello? i didn't hello, hear you like <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness yeah we haven't seen you in a while lily, lily we haven't lily, seen lily. anybody in a while we've been kind of like 
crazy ass busy. <laughs> oh, you said a bad word. I did. Yeah, everybody thinks she's all innocent. Yeah, bull. <laughs> yeah, you think all you want. She ain't innocent as you think. <laughs> she causes more problems than anybody I know. No, I don't. She's one of them things what you call a wild child. <laughs> yeah. Or black sheep. Yeah. <laughs> Wild yeah. child in the Jeep. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you went off the road the other day. Didn't you? What, 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 I did. I drove on a driveway that said it was not a driveway. Not a driveway. She's like, it is now. It is now with a Jeep. <laughs> not the driveway. We went down 10 mile road in the Jeep. That was fun. Oh, I bet. <laughs> yeah, and so her seatbelt kicked in and held her up against the seat so she didn't smack the steering wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Hit a little hole a little too fast. <laughs> Next time I heard, holy crap, my seatbelt locked up. <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> You guys lock up the seat belts when you're riding in the Jeep out there? Uh, we haven't been wearing them. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. <laughs> um, Our Jeep no longer has yeah, a really good control where they're needed. Yeah. Oh, you don't need it? Yeah, I mean, I'm really, yeah, we really haven't been on no trails that we need them yet. With you. Oh, yeah. It is fun. I enjoy it. This internet must be screwing up. It's getting real choppy. Uh-oh. Yeah, and we can hear you before your lips even move, so. <laughs> yeah, hey, in the middle of nowhere, you can expect that. Yeah, well, we're right on 40. 40 is, like, right here. We can't see oh, wow. 40, but we can hear it because 40 is down in a, I don't know, kind down of a thing. Uh-huh. Yeah. But it's, I mean, it's right here by us. Hmm. got to figure out what we want to do with this. Uh, Brian? Brian, I mean, what do we want to do with what? We want the four big jars with the... Yes. With that? With that, what you got right now. And then the other ones with the other? Yeah, probably, unless we make a couple of small ones with that. I'll tell you what, I'll make the four big ones and one small one and the six ones I have the hot. There we go. That sounds good to me. Yeah, friggin' asparagus today, we paid $5 a pound for it. Hmm. Yeah, kind of high. Just a little bit high priced. It's good asparagus, though. Yeah, it is. It's, it's nice asparagus. They actually picked it to where you get most of the soft, not the whole freaking stem, where it's all half of it's hard. Mm -hmm. So that's good. I mean, we drive around Bass Lake. There's a lot of wild asper asparagus growing up Bass Lake. We used to pick it. Really? Everywhere. Don't tell me that. Where at? <laughs> Don't tell me that. We've never foraged for it before. I want to find some. I've never found wild asparagus. I've always wanted to find it and try it. Found some over by that little church. It's on a curve over by where Sporties was at. Okay. okay. Found some over we there. Like the other day. Yeah, we went all the way around it. First time we ever did that. Yep. In the Jeep. <laughs> there were people out there in the Jeep. We go full station too. Seven hundred East had quite a bit too. From when you follow and go around the churches. That runs mm -hmm. into 700 East. If you head back toward the lake to 10, there was a bunch that grew down that road. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. That's where we mainly got it from. Ah. I love asparagus anyway. Mm-hmm. But I've never found wild asparagus. We never foraged for it before. I've never found it. I've seen where mm -hmm. it used to grow at that one park that we went to. Mm-hmm. Our nature preserve or whatever it is. I ain't a nature preserve. Mm-mm. I can't remember where it was, but I know it wasn't a nature preserve because you cannot afford it in a nature no. preserve. No. So we were there way after it bloomed. Oh, yeah, it was way, it had already gone to seed. All you can see is it was 
stops that were seen. Yeah. Right, the whole bag of Twizzlers gone. I know. Before Venom starts tonight. <laughs> Video, video movies ain't going back tonight. Yeah, they will. I'll send Dustin back with them. Yeah, you say you know what you can do. <laughs> Sorry, six thirty. That's all right. Eleven o'clock, we watch it. <laughs> oh wow! Well, I wish I could meet y'all, Amarillo. My bank account says no. Oh man. Oh, I know what that means. Mm -hmm. oh, the chat. Hold on. I know how that goes. Right now, we do have a little extra cash because I'm working. A little, not much. Mm hmm. Bills are getting paid on time. Hey, there's two days <laughs> out there. And ahead of time. Hmm. Well, now we're kind of living instead of just barely making it. Yep. It ain't, it ain't much greater, but it's better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our bank account is saying turn around. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Say what? You guys, by the time you get it back here, it'll be time to leave again. So mm -hmm. I would just stay. Honestly, I would if it was me and I didn't have to come back, I would just stay there. Yeah. I really would. Yeah, it's probably what's going to happen. If you gotta come back for doctor appointments or something like that, mm -hmm. like I'm coming back and I'm only coming back once. Yep. And I fly back. Fly back and get everything done you need to get done. Because it'd be cheaper flying back than it would be driving. Mm -hmm. uh, it uh, costs twenty-seven dollars. It costs two hundred dollars to fill honey up now. Wow. We can yeah, move. We can uh, move. Four and a half hours. Hmm. So, I mean, it would it's, it's going to cost a couple grand just to get back. Yeah. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. And you can, you can fly back for 300 bucks two ways. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah, she's yeah. the only one to start the adopter there. Mm hmm And I can renew my license online, so. Yeah. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that either. Yeah, Larson's is not mm -hmm. I don't know if maybe they'd just take your picture offline or whatever and put it on there. Mm -hmm. kind of weird, but. Becky said she did it. No, they use your picture that's on your current license, put it on a oh. new one. And send it. Okay. <laughs> that's kind of strange because a lot of people can change a lot in four years. Uh, six Seven. years. Six or, years. Or, or, yeah, six yeah. years. I mean, people can change a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they used to be four. There's six now, or was when I got it. Mm -hmm. Your face pretty much looks the same. I mean, because yeah. women can dye their hair and look different. Yeah, I know. In a week or in a day. And a guy can cut his hair and freaking mm -hmm. have long hair and cut his shave and mm -hmm. shave and cut your hair off and make you look like a totally different person. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm editing this video and I'm, I noticed I'm starting to get wrinkles around the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> I wonder if Becky's got anything to do with that. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for her to say mm -hmm. something if she's listening. She's in the bathroom trying to look for a flight, I think. Ah. Mm -hmm. That'd be a way to do it. Never I mean, fly back. Do, but. Mm hmm. Yeah, I agree, Lily. Yep. Yep, we are. So that's the way they, things are nowadays. Mm hmm. Well, it's every four years in Kentucky, but it's every six in Indiana. Actually, I think mine's got to be renewed next year. I uh -huh. I don't have it on me. Mine gets renewed the same time yours does. Does it? Yeah. Uh, 2024. Yeah, no, I've got two years. Two years. <laughs> That's when the Jeep's got to be re-registered. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I thought I told you, just go ahead and get it done. Yeah. Year, too. It's only 50 bucks more. Mm-hmm. You know, go ahead and do it. Reenactor's down there. Corner. 
<laughs> John's got to get busy in the edit some video. I need to edit our freaking stacks video. Oh yeah, I that one. Need that one. I need to edit that one up there at the freaking park up there in Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. When we rode the train, that one there's oh, going yeah. down yet. I've seen the deer. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I'm as a as ahead as what I am. I got six videos scheduled all the way to June 10th. Wow. Let got, me send you my videos so you can do some work. <laughs> got two more done. Well, one needs a voiceover, and the other one I got to shoot an ending to. Mm -hmm. So that'd be that'd put us up to June 17th, and this one here is not taking very long. Mm hmm. I'm trying to you get know, caught up uh, where we're at. My videos are 30 minutes long or longer, so then I got to take it off the GoPro, and I got to take some off my phone, I got to take some off of her phone. <laughs> we're the only ones on here. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That's okay. I yeah, don't care. yeah. That's how we've been grabbing it. Luckily, we've had bits and pieces on phones and that, that so that hard drive mm -hmm. thing didn't hurt us. The hard drive thing was kind of a blessing for us. It mm -hmm. caught us up by about in our videos. Yeah. When, when you're busy, it's just hard to do It's videos. hard, yeah, and when you're busy. Because by the time I get home from work, I really don't want to do nothing. I really don't. I know that's what happened all during last week. And we get off, we get home, and all you want to do is you got time to cook dinner, sit down, eat dinner, and, and like news, relax and for a little bit. Reach, no, yeah, watch the news, and it's time for go to bed and do it all over again. At those ten-hour days are long. Freaking sucks. I'm ready to retire and be done with it. <laughs> we got a long ways to go before that. Yeah, I know. I got another fifteen years at least. <laughs> Don't remind me. <laughs> I think I'll take a page out of Roy's book and just get me a camper and say the hell with you and I'm gone. <laughs> I'll do some camp chores, camp camp work. Or yeah. Call it. <laughs> some of them camp host jobs are pretty good. Yeah. I'd so dry to be out in the middle of the freaking woods than I would be where um. I'm at. <laughs> Heck, we've only been hiking once this year. I know, because we've been so busy. And that was only because we wanted the mushrooms and we knew where they were yeah. growing. We don't even have the garden tilled yet. Yeah, the garden's not even tilled up yet. We're way behind. I did get tilled up this this week. <laughs> behind on video as usual. Yep, yeah, us too. Everybody. We only got like two, two or three, though, that you haven't done. That. I got stuff on her to yeah. be done probably been done in three years it's still got on <laughs> old old stuff ago. yeah archived you know? stuff and Roy puts up her he puts up retro yeah retro yeah <laughs> he's there's been sitting there for three or four years in yeah. retro videos now no some of our retro videos are from 2006 <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> wow those are those ain't retro those are antique mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Stuff better start boiling. That's all I know. Turn the heat up. I turned it up. It says <laughs> over medium heat. It's almost on medium. It's on medium high. Medium high. high. Right yep. Yeah, I don't know how I find those campground jobs. I don't know how they do those. Oh, it's easy. You hook up with CRV, he gets you in up there in Colorado. They get. Free electric, free firewood, free propane, of course, the mm -hmm. fight, and 1200 a month a piece. Wow. And he hardly does anything. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. It'd be fun. That's what the goal is to try to get that point to be able to travel yep. a little bit. Want to be up north in the summer and down in the warmth in the winter. Yeah, that's the goal. That's, that's what the goal is. I don't know if it's gonna happen. <laughs> Maybe someday. Yeah. Kind of weird. The last two times we've tried this, 
something happens. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, you know, last time we came out with a pandemic. Now the gas prices are going nuts. Yeah. Well, at least you're at least you're stuck where you want to be when the gas prices are up. Yeah. yeah. The pandemic thing yeah. wasn't too bad. We would have never seen Flagstaff, Williams, Route 66, or anything up there. Right. Yeah. And we're taking it slow. Which yep. That, that's the best way to do it. Seeing the sights, that's the yep. best way to do it. Hey, it finally started boiling. We'll get out that way one of these days. Yeah, one of these days we'll do. So we figured this year. We're not going to be a lot doing a lot of traveling because I don't have a lot of vacation. Right. I don't have vacation time. The little bit I'm going to be building up is going to be used out in California uh, for that long weekend trip. We're going to do a Wednesday, yeah. Thursday, and a Monday off. And I'll have Wednesday yep. through Monday. I have to go back Tuesday. So we fly out Wednesday morning, spend two nights in Anaheim. And then two nights, two three nights in the, uh, or two nights, yeah, two nights in two nights in Anaheim and two nights in the, the park in the national forest or whatever, and uh, yeah, then fly got, home. We got Liz and stuff. With gas prices being as high as they are, then it'll work out good for us. We only need a car for a couple of days, rental. Delta. Okay, we got Liz mm -hmm. in the Midway. Hello. Mm -hmm. We have Liz and Rings. Oh, I gotta get them. Yes. Uh, they're out there. I'm gonna talk about airlines of Delta. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta go grab the Liz and Rings for the scanner. That's see, that's who our son used to work for. He's United now. Now he's with oh, I thought he was American Airlines. No. United, yeah. yeah, he's now he's with United, but he's he's a little mad at us because we want our money back that he owes us, so he's ignoring Becky's request to get a hold of him <laughs> for him. Oh, okay. it, he's the he's the one. That blew our truck up and got it towed and it didn't pay the bill and it got impounded and no, I don't think we had to pay a 31 day storage bill on it that was over 1300 oh, bucks to get a freaking bill. I didn't think mama would know. We were just gonna play it off like he left it on the side of the road and someone took it. I know what he was up to. Which if that would have been the case, he'd have owed us more money because yeah. the truck was was worth more. <laughs> he didn't think mama would find it. It took me a week to find it, but I found it. Right. You know. We know why some animals eat their own. It ain't you know that we're being mean, but we were always taught you be responsible with somebody else's property. If you damage it, you replace it. They were taught exactly. that too, but. Yeah. That's where we are. If we borrow something and we break it or damage it, it will be replaced. And. He doesn't seem to think he has to do that. So, yeah. Um, Rashad is going to do some more snooping around for me. Yeah, if it's four hundred dollars there, four hundred back. That's eight hundred bucks. Yeah, you'd be cheaper to drive a car. Yeah. Right <laughs> from now. Oklahoma City, because that's only. And she said, "Where's well, your phone?" Oh my God, God. Thing on trying to get out of my jar. I can't find the wide mouth lids. Oh. I'm only finding these, the regular mouth. Come on, there's got to be. I know we got wide mouth. I don't know where they're at. They got the bag right in my hand. No, there's wide mouth and small mouth. There's two different small. bags. I got, well, I got this bag. There are no wide mouth lids in here. <laughs> now you have a regular one. No wide mouth. Navigate from Oklahoma City to home. You want a home in there? Thanks, Lily. Yep, it'll be, it's going to be fun to go to California. I've never been there before. Oh, he's over on about the table on on the table in a box. There's mm -hmm. a couple yeah. more rings. Look at trying to jump on the jar. <gasps> oh my goodness! Say white mouse. Okay, I got the regular <laughs> one. Uh, 
trying to get this cannon done. Everybody <laughs> says they're having a hard time getting rid of the ring. Well, they says hi, Lee Lee. She's back there oh, cooking dry. dinner. Huh? I think I'd rather drive. I figured that much with you. But I'm scared to death of heights. Can you see me getting up in the plane and having a panic attack? Mm. Mm. Look how much it went up. How much it went up? Yeah. Went up freaking two inches. Really? That's crazy. That's crazy. That's problem. Here's the thing about flying too, though, dear. If wait, just think about this. It's four hundred dollars now to go there. Yeah. If you do your stuff, say it takes you a month with the doctor or whatever. Yeah. Gas gets over six dollars a gallon. You know what ticket prices are going to be like then, probably. About six days. Yeah, you want to order now. You want to get them now. You want to get them now. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that, John. Yeah, the yeah. problem is that lung doctor. She likes to drag her feet. No. Oh yeah, so you wouldn't have a date to really. I wouldn't know. have a return date. That's my problem. Oh. She might not get mm. done with me until September. That's when you tell your doctor, I need it this date and this date yeah, only. I know. I know some doctors won't do that, but. How many of those other ones do you need? I don't know. So if I drive home, <laughs> I can grab the pit and throw it in the car with a half to and pit stop. Oh, dear. Get too tired if you're already back in there. You want to rest there instead. So we're doing oh, it. We've got seven small ones. Yeah. Here's one for the you're gonna do one in the hot spice, right? Or the I mean, the other bread butter. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's kinda hard to work around doctors. Really yeah, cool. I know it is. Take me to my appointments. They want to charge you if you cancel and that's not enough time, but they don't want to yeah. Cancel on you. Yep. I know my doctor sent me a $5 charge if I cancel within, if I don't cancel within 24 hours. That's ridiculous. So it's charging 75 bucks. I just get the flight going it, going back and then, then, then wait for the fly back and do that one separate. Our flight, go actually our flight. Going to LA is cheap, or going out to Santa Ana is cheaper than the flight coming back to O'Hare, or not O'Hare, Midway. Yeah, that happens too. But she, it was more, more because we wanted to look around and see what she can find too. But Delta it's because we wanted a non stop flight too. Delta one way is $400. Wow. That's Oklahoma City straight to South Bend. And Oklahoma City to our house, well, the kids' house, is 12, 12 hours. hours. Yeah. I can handle it's it. a fair drive. Well, you're paying what? So much? A lot in gas. Yeah, you're paying. That's going to be at least $800 just in gas. Not, not from Oklahoma City to... Oh. She can go roughly okay. five to six hours on a tank of gas... Because it's four cylinder. Oh, okay, in the car. In the car. Yeah, yeah, in the car. Yeah, and, and honey, yeah, we. Honey is the one sucking. Yeah. We better yeah. apply for. It. Oh. Huh? <laughs> honey, <laughs> we better. The apply gas. For it. But yeah, it takes. I think it was seventy to fill the car up. So. That's roughly three tank fulls. Somebody's talking to you. It depends on where I get gas at, yeah. too. Yeah, you could drive there for half. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, had that backwards. Yeah, the only reason ours was that we could get a $170 flight back, but we had travel late at night. Oh, yeah. Then we'd get too. back into uh, Midway until like 1 o'clock in the morning, and I was like, no, I have to work the next day. So we'll get in about 5. I know you are, but I can't. I got over two weeks vacation right now. Mm hmm Oh, I know you can't. I, was just, I think you should be off on Tuesday. That way you can pack everything, have everything packed up and ready to go. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a packer. You know that. <laughs> You're going to have to be one because I'm not going to be able to take off early oh, to do it. Sorry. I can't do that. You can unpack and do all the laundry when we get home. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, you are. You can be an unpacker. I'm not a packer or a boundary. Well, I got. I don't even have a full load yet. I've been putting it in the washer. <laughs> and then, if I drive home, I can have my medicine on me if I need it. You know, my laptop, I ain't got to worry about it. What's she anymore. saying? She's scared to fly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. She's scared to fly. <laughs> you could always look in the Amtrak, the train. You could always take the train. Yeah, you'd enjoy that. Yeah. Great the train might be a good option. That would be neat. That would be definitely neat. Uh, oh, like that much. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what? The butter just fell in the water. Really? <laughs> hey, Scott Jacobs, an appreciation. Hello. Is it hello, neighbor? <laughs> I can't see chat, Scott, so you're going to have to holler. <laughs> <laughs> or get up there on panel. <laughs> yeah, if you scroll back in the chat, now, if you want to, I'll post it again. again. All you got to do is copy or just paste it in. Yeah. There we go. All right, so what we're going to do with this, Brian, put it in a jar. That took me down to the coast for a journey. Sand is on everything. Oh, boy. I bet it is. <laughs> Sand is everywhere. Oh, that's right. Scott's up there by him. That's why he said he can't even see chat. So uh-huh. Let's, right. let's see. Can you all see it? Let's see. <laughs> He's going to oh. show us out the window. Uh, there he is. That's that's Scott's rig. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yep, there he is. He's right out the window. <laughs> Just down the way. I think I see the Jeep. Yes, I do. I see the Jeep That's there. A samurai. <laughs> That's a samurai. A samurai. It's not a Jeep? No, it's not a Jeep. It's a Suzuki Samurai. Oh, okay. Oh, Suzuki yep, Samurai. Suzuki. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I, I kind of wanted to come back. You know, that's one thing. I back there, the Suzuki Samurais are, are cheap. You get out mm -hmm. west here, and they're just they're, they think they're gold out here. Really? And huh. I wanted, yeah, I want yeah. to come back out, come back there, sell Bobby, sell a few things back at the house, and get us a little Suzuki Samurai. Because you know, we mm -hmm. found one over in Michigan mm -hmm. City for twelve hundred bucks. Wow, that's wow. not bad. Wow, that's wow. not bad. And uh they're just they're they're lighter than a Jeep. And, and you could you know right yeah, honey could tow a samurai around. Mm -hmm. My mom used to have a little geo tracker. Or one of those. Go think about mm -hmm. one of them too. But the samurai is the lightest out of all of them. Mm-hmm. And you look over Scott's, and Scott's, I mean, everything's easy to work on. You open, it's all right there, and it's all basic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like honey. Is. Yeah, the Jeep is pretty easy to work on, too. Yeah. And bring me a walkie talkie, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> I like my Jeep. I think we started in room. Put your clothes on. Yeah. I see you. <laughs> batteries to the walkie talkies. Mm -hmm. No. Do it tomorrow. Tomorrow's Monday. We're not pulling out to Wednesday, right? That's 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 the plan is Wednesday, but this one don't take no sugar. This other pickling. Thing. Bless you. Is that? Brine. 
<laughs> put some layered. clothes on. <laughs> we, have, we have layered clothes on today. <laughs> hmm, chilly. We're inside the house, or I would too. Would be too. I'd have sweat. We had a sweatshirt on all day outside. Yeah, it's chilly out. I need to cover my son and patients because I don't want them dying. I think we should bring in those tomato plants tonight too. We was fifty-eight, but I don't. <laughs> it's fifty-eight. It didn't yeah, feel like it. It feels like something else. Hold on. Fifty-eight. Oh, That's about what it is here. Like fifty-seven. Oh, it's 60, feels like 57? We got 33% humidity. Really? Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. That's what they this need place needs. Humidity. They need yeah, the, um, mm -hmm. they're, they, you know, when they have forest fires, you know, they, you know, they, they pray and scream for rain, right? Mm -hmm. This play, this fire is so bad, they're praying and screaming for just relative humidity. Wow. And when it gets above a certain level, as some, they call it some excellent stage, it really helps with the fires. Yeah. Fires down for losing honey. Okay, I had a pot holder. Now you got a cool front coming. Yep, we got that cool front here yesterday, last night. The temperature dropped like a rock yesterday. Because it was 80s. It was 80s here on Friday. Yeah, Autumn says, it's cold today, Mom. <laughs> it is. It's cold today. Hopefully tomorrow we get to come home from work and get that garden tilled up. That's on the agenda. Yeah, maybe. Get some plants in the ground. Plants in the ground. Maybe. Not working with me. Oh, think about having a campfire that's so dang windy and cold. Well, look at the wind stuff. Oh, no, it's died, died down. down. We'd love to have a campfire. We got to go to a place where we can have fires. Right. <laughs> yeah. I think where we're going that's under a fire ban, too. In Amarillo, Texas? Mm -hmm. Probably so. Wow. They're dry. Everywhere out here in this area is. They're uh, in a drought. Well, they wow. you can see it on that live stream. Throw it around. All the, mm -hmm. the prairie grass, it's all brown. Yeah. The only thing that's green here is the evergreens. Wow. I thought you were going to say your wallet. <laughs> green? <laughs> that's brown from dust. <laughs> brown from dust. <laughs> <laughs> well, John's got you got the other load of brine. You got those in the in the steam canner. Yeah, got the timer on. There ain't no timer. You don't have the timer on. There ain't no timer. Oh, you're just getting them to the green mark and then turn them off, right? Well, you always have to go to the humidity with the negative at Amarillo. You what, baby? Yes, under burn ban all the yeah, way. Yeah, burn ban. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't gonna have no fire at our reader. Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah. Scott really enjoys hiring his fire water all across the country. At least we're, yeah, we're burn prepared. On the firewood around and can't use it. <laughs> yeah, if you get caught using another, you get a big old fine, wouldn't you? Yep. Oh yeah. Two hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, no. Wow. Per, yeah. per person. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that's not worth it. Nope. Oh, wait. Not worth it at all. Hmm. Wow. My Aunt Lily, that's that's a lot of burn ban area. Uh oh, I'm for five minutes. 
That way I know it's actually hot enough. Okay. Because it got pretty dang on hot for a really quick mm -hmm. once I put that lid on. Yeah. Got markings here. Huh? Yeah, I don't smell it. Oh, it, smells, it just smells like dill pickles. It ain't that bad. That does smell really oh, dilly. That'll probably make them just like what Chris likes. I'm yeah, I bet it will. Because it's dill. Like, almost like dill pickles. And it's dill, dill uh, pickled asparagus, but with a little heat Ooh, to it. Oh, God, it'll be hot. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> he oh, just tasted the salt of the packet. Just a little bit. Put your, here, no, oh, I didn't burn my mouth out. No, just a little bit. Okay. No, just, okay. That's it. That's all you need. Not even that much. This much, huh? Not even that much. You gonna burn my mouth? It's gonna burn. Crap. Oh! <laughs> hot, hot. hot. I need something to drink. I told you, salty even hot. Ah. I told you. That's, That's a little hot. bit hot. That's gonna be hot. Hmm. I don't know if I want to make all six of those out that hot or not. Do it. Let's do it. Then give them to Chris. No, Chris, you don't five dollars a freaking thing. Mm. And those, are, those are freaking hot. It's going to be diluted, though. Yeah, that's going to be Yeah, bit. that's just straight out of the pack, too. Straight out of the package. But it's not bad tasting. It's like hot dill pickles. <laughs> Old samurai leaf springs and broken clamp chairs. Broken camp chairs. <laughs> I got a couple broken camp chairs. I'm not getting yeah, we do. One. I ain't done it yet. <laughs> I am going to have a severe issue about not coming back there. Mm. A huge. It's a huge problem. Very huge. Oh no. And that problem. How am I going to make this jar of pickles last over a year? <laughs> That's gonna be rough, man. Give me your PO box. Yeah. 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 Moose is watching the jar. Look at him. I know. <laughs> look at him. Yeah, I know what they taste like. <laughs> okay, what? I got some pickles out the other night, and they turned out wonderful. Oh yeah, the whole pick. He made some whole pickles, dill pickles. And the big I jar, about, and they turn out really good. Yeah, I've been savoring this jar, but these <laughs> <laughs> are the ones I made. That first time I tried them was the other night, like whole pickles. Oh man, I bet you them are good. Those they turned mm -hmm. out wonderful. I was so surprised. I've been sitting all winter, and they're wow. really crunchy too. They're not. Soft. Yeah, they're crunchy. Oh yeah, yeah. See, that's the problem I always had was they got mushy when I did the spears. Mm -hmm. I must have waited too late and used them too too late, or they were too old because every one of them were mushy. Yeah, oh, yeah. I don't like they turned out excellent. So I did pickles again. Dill pickles, I would do them like that. Yep. That wasn't a mix, was it? You did a mm -hmm. Recipe. Mm -hmm. Yep. We got some regular dill in there. Or just like vinegar, water, dill, and garlic. Mm -hmm. Good. He's <laughs> yummy, John. <laughs> Scott says, yummy, John. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's good stuff. Tell me a way to get you Wait. guys some pickles. I'll get them to you. Yeah. Have to get, tell us where, which mail, which uh, post office to ship them to. <laughs> well, we'll probably figure that out. <laughs> Yeah, wait till I open these pickles, Scott. If you like uh, like pickles. <laughs> hey, Water Girl. Hi. Oh, water girl. Oh, oh, girl. Yeah. We're both of us. Uh huh. Christmas pickles are good. <laughs> uh huh. If it's what I think, I think they call them freezer pickles back home. Mm hmm. Yeah. Freezer pickles. We have we got a freezer slaw recipe that's really good. Oh yeah, we do. We need to get cabbage and make that freezer we slaw. Need to do that. 
That's some dang good freezer I slaw. About that. Well, I bet you that is good. Mm -hmm. love so no, Robert Rockwell. Now I want pickles. <laughs> go, go see uh, Roy. He's got pickles. Roy's got pickles. <laughs> you might not share, but he's got pickles. <laughs> <laughs> I have to roll up through there and bring Robert Rockwell some pickles if we go north to Wisconsin. Oh, yeah, we'll We're going to be right going right by there, right by Round Lake. We're going to be right there going through yeah. Gurney. Everybody knows you like that. Our stuff mm -hmm. that we do not mind. <laughs> Why does this table keep vibrating? What's going on? Is your phone ringing? It's up on that. <laughs> is your phone ringing? Maybe it's this phone. It's <laughs> no, it's off. And pickles are yummy. My cucumbers just started growing. I can't wait. Love cucumbers and pickles, lol. Yeah. Pickles are yummy. I know we got a lot left over. And yeah, Lily says, no, it's stained glass. <laughs> <laughs> it's not pickles, it's stained glass. It looks like pickles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, cool. Robert Rockwell said to post, post the picture of their puppy on Facebook. On our Facebook. I gotta go check. Oh, I can't go check on this phone. I have to go check on your phone. Alright, so. Which one? Yeah. On, on Facebook. Right on our uh, Facebook group. On the Avengers Artland, probably. You gotta check it out. You gotta check out the puppy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. oh my gosh, it's a toy. It's adorable. Look at him. Oh, I love it. <laughs> there it is again. Look at that cute little pup. How cute is that? Oh, he's adorable. Look at the little wrinkles on his forehead. Aww. <laughs> hey, cute little puppy. Uh huh. <coughs> <laughs> Super cute. <laughs> Super cute pup. Should have named this can canning pickle asparagus and chatting. <laughs> yeah. We always do can and chats. There you go. What? Oh, it's, it's a probably... little girl named her for Cara Dune. Oh, it's Robert in our group, honey, not ours. Oh, okay, I see it now. <laughs> so cute. No, I thought it's never cool. mind. No, it's cute one more, one more. Oh, yeah, the pot <laughs> peppers. Oh, yeah, I can make my nose itch. <laughs> Trying to get too much of a whiff of that jalapeno pickled brine. That stuff's strong. I can, i making my nose itch. I'm going to have to sneeze here in a minute. <laughs> oh, bless you. Yeah, jalapeno pickle vapor. Uh, well, we're gonna get off here. Dinner's done. Yep. We'll be in the chat though. Yeah. We're just gonna hang out for a little bit longer and then we'll probably call it a night too because I'm gonna have to cook some fish. Yeah. As soon as he's done with this with getting these in the canner. The second batch. The other batch is in the canner. Oh, the other batch is out. Oh, it's out of the canner. Yeah, out. I haven't heard anything, so. Oh, there goes one. Don't be pushed on him now. Yep, just leave them go. They just have it sealed yet. They will. All right, we'll see you guys in chat. See ya. Thanks for coming up. Roy. <laughs> Love you guys.
Later. Stay safe out there. <laughs> yeah, because their internet's probably wacky anyway. Yeah, I'm getting getting there. We've been on We've for been a while. On, on for three, three hours. hours. Oh my that. goodness. <laughs> Well, we haven't done a live in a while, so oh, yeah. it's been good chatting with everybody and hanging out. It's been quite some time. Pickles, hmm? yeah, another pickle? Yeah. You're going to be out of pickles here in a minute. I got more jars like that down Oh, there. do I you? I know that. Of whole pickles? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, jars like that, a whole pickle and some of the spears. <laughs> we might have to get yeah. some pickles this year and do them like that. Oh my gosh, that stuff's getting to me. <coughs> it will. Wow. Oh, cool. Lily made a, a Facebook page for YouTuber friends. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Lily made a YouTuber page or a Facebook page for awesome. YouTuber we friends. Gotta go to that. Yeah, we gotta get together. That's cool. Got to get back to this video for the parade. Oh, yeah. Have a great night, Scott. Thanks for coming in and, and chatting with us for a bit and mm -hmm. catching up. Thank it's you, been a while you. since we've gotten to go live and catch up with everybody. Oh. Even get on other people's lives. It's been kind of a crazy, crazy couple. Last few months has been crazy. Bye, Lily. No, we say that every time we get on, but it has been. Yeah, I know. It really, has. we've been trying to even get a video out every no. week. It's been almost impossible here lately. I don't know what the last video was. I got out the mushroom video. Yeah, the raw mushroom video. That was the light. That was not this week. It was last week. Besides the video I put out of the lights on the jeep, but that's yeah. another video. Yeah, <coughs> he did a short on the jeep lights. <laughs> oh my goodness <coughs> that stuff is rough man holy cow uh, that's, <clears throat> that's the reason why most people when they do peppers they do them outside <clears throat> getting to me making my eyes water Well, guys, I think we're going to call it a night. Yep, we can do that. <clears throat> and uh, finish up these pickles and get dinner going. What pickles? Yeah, Lily's not pickles. Asparagus. Asparagus. Pickled <laughs> asparagus. <clears throat> yeah, I know. I'm. We are, too, behind on watching a lot of videos. We are. We caught up with a few this weekend. Yep, wandering wildly. <clears throat> We've caught in, gotten into Sty's live streams a couple of times for a short while, and we got to catch up with everybody. We didn't make it into WMAD this weekend. We missed it. We missed it. <clears throat> we didn't get home in time. No, we didn't get home in time. All of our errand running. It's it's easy to get behind, and it's hard to catch up when you get behind. We uh, we did watch some of uh, Roy and Becky's. And caught mm -hmm. up a little bit on theirs, but we're still way behind on their videos. <laughs> I know. And I'm going to say you don't feel obligated to watch mm -hmm. them, but we like watching them. Mm -hmm. I, want, I, gotta, I gotta check out their Saddleback Mountain. <laughs> That's coming up. I, that one needs to be watched on my watch list. <clears throat> Well, we're gonna call it a night and thank thanks everybody for coming in. Yep, thank you for coming in. I enjoyed you. <clears throat> we enjoyed chatting and getting getting back together with everybody. Yep. And we will go ahead and go down to right. Let's uh, remember we want no. moderator. <laughs> Right? <coughs> yeah, right there. Two moderators. <laughs> right. I still got to change the moderator one. <laughs> Everybody have a great rest of your weekend yeah. and a wonderful, safe, and happy week ahead. Yeah.
and hope to see you guys all soon again. Later. Later. Bye. Bye. Thank you.